All right. Hey, everyone. Welcome back to podcast number 32. Three? Three. Three. Two. 32. One, 32. So my oh. favorite comment from last week's podcast was... Wait. We, we got to address what we asked them first was, what should we put in the middle of the table? Oh, yeah. And we got one answer. Mm-hmm. And that was, put a mini Zen garden in the middle of the table so Drew can rake some sand and relax for once. That actually is Whoa. a really good idea. I love it. I thought so. I, I, I dug that one up. but that's, Christian, get the business card out. Drew would I sit here the whole time, just gone. <laughs> that was actually a really good idea. I like that. Yeah. Who was it? A mini Zen garden. Uh, Alistair. I don't know. It'd be, it'd be aesthetically pleasing. Alistair? Yeah. yeah shout, sure. Alistair. shout out to you, buddy. Yeah. Great My call. man. My favorite comment was, is it sad that I just turned 14 and I'm six foot two and I'm taller than Drew? <laughs> man, Drew, just wear some heels. <laughs> I'm not even six two yet. It's okay, Drew. Oh, they, they want me. They, they just want more reasons to chirp my lady legs. <laughs> True. <laughs> yeah, Drew, Drew in heels would be like the ultimate like, lady leg yeah. chirp fest. You know what I mean? I'd make money on the corner. Oh, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Mine is Anywho. <laughs> with the way you have Rob's cartoon character X'd out. Looks like you guys killed him. Did he finally push you over the edge with how many times he says, "You know what I mean"? <laughs> <laughs> Shout out I, Kazuya. I like the. That's the. I have a girlfriend table. No wonder Rob and I aren't there. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Rob, man. Or love how you guys talk chat. about smart shit, and at the end, Drew's like, "Let's tie dye the table." Uh. <laughs> that one kills me. <laughs> tie dye on the table would be pretty fun. It was just good because like we both looked oh, at we both looked at him like. How do you? And then we just ended it. We're like, how do you even follow that up? It's an My man awful Rob's call. onto something. I'm not tired of the table. But yeah, top comment was good too. The Drew's like the little kid in the candy shop, too short to reach the candy, but tall enough to annoy everyone. <laughs> Wasn't that from two weeks ago? <laughs> no. No, that was the top for this week. Oh, maybe maybe they posted oh, maybe, it twice. I think or no, maybe just, we just posted in the group chat. I, I, yeah, I, I posted it literally day one. Oh, again, yeah, yeah. Mm-mm. That guy was on it. What's your favorite comment? I said it. You did? <laughs> the high heels. Oh, right, right, right. You went first. Oops. I went second. <laughs> Shane went first. <laughs> just ignore me for a sec. Oh, I'm not wearing a hat today, so just my homie talk for the rest of the podcast. X him out again. Jeez. What you guys used to X me out was a green tape. Yeah. Oh, okay. Painting just tape. Like painting tape because we didn't want to wreck the display. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine you peel it off as a as this, like, X there forever. <laughs> like permanent. Okay, well, I have, I have a rant to go on, but before that, we want to make the main topic for today near-death experiences yeah and shane you want to go first so just so i went to niagara falls on the weekend okay Okay. oh it's like just happening yeah yeah so this is just leading in we got to build it up yeah yeah so how shitty people are at driving okay so first off someone's in the far left lane turning left okay okay so the light's about to go green so they can turn left right before it turns green he pulls forward cuts across the three lanes and turns right Okay. Okay. So then literally I, I roll up to the stop and I'm at the front now across the street. Someone's trying to turn left in front of me. Someone just goes around the guy and tur- cuts him off and turns left in front of him. This all happened in the span of two seconds. So you got like guys going and then like, yeah, it's like bumper what cars. It was insane. And, and then anyway, yesterday we were driving and we have like a, we have to go through and then there's two stop signs. Someone just, just stops, sees us coming. And then right before we get there rolls out. And like, you know, when you slam the brakes and you get like the, like that, grrr, that yeah, yeah. sound where like your, what is it? The ABS, the ABS is ABS kicking kicks in. in yeah. I stopped like this far away. <laughs> and then the guy has the audacity to look at me going like, <laughs> like <laughs> so, buddy, what are you doing? Fucking, Holy Man, I'm on a shit. highway. Like, yeah. <laughs> what are you, what are you expecting here? Yeah. Amanda said, thank you for saving my life. So today's Ooh. topic. Near death experience. That was your oh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> I don't think that was it. It's not near death. I was fine. Man, okay. they, they almost but, died. Not you. But oh, I they, I would have te- I would have destroyed the driver. Oh, buddy would have been. I was gone. going like seventy. Yeah. Yeah. It's a T bone. Oh, like it wasn't potato. on a like a four way stop or anything. It was a highway. No, or, I think it wasn't a highway, but <laughs> it's going a little fast. But, it, was, uh, it, was a, it was a. It 60. was like in a subdivision. But any like I have <laughs> <laughs> any cops of virtue years. I but like I'm on like a main road. He's yeah. just pulling in from a stop sign. So oh, he okay. stops and he's clearly stopped. So I'm still going straight through like I should be. And he just pulls straight out in front of me Jeez. and like, like tries to turn left. So you know how it takes a little longer yeah. to do the last. Yeah. No, I literally a foot away. People have no regard for their own lives. It's nuts. It's not to do, but no. to do. They're in a rush to get somewhere, man. Their yeah. kid's ballet is at 5 PM and they're late. It's like, you know yeah. what I mean? Might as well almost kill myself to get there on time. Yeah, it's like, might as well like speed to work. Shut up. It's like, <laughs> it's like when you're driving down a country road. And there's people walking toward, like they're walking on the right side of the road, whatever. And then they just don't make an effort to move onto the shoulder. 
and they're just like, oh, well, like you should be paying attention to me. But it's like, I get that. But don't you think that you like in an effort to live, you might just want to like step a foot Kay. over for yeah. a second. We live by a lot of Mennonites and they do that. <laughs> yeah. And they're horse and buggies, bro. Our horses can't move over. I don't mind the horse and buggy ones. It's the okay. walkers. Or the ones hey, on their like weird ass scooter bikes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like, aren't you a Mennonite? Aren't you supposed to be scared of technology? Like, I like some, you're using a it's soul. a scooter bike. Yeah. It's high tech shit. I some, I, there was a they dude. can transform. <laughs> there was a dude in Bree City, literally on like a, a fuck, I don't know. The, the Like the carts that we used to give away at Zares. Rascals? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the old person with in the busted the leg bike lane. Oh, the, oh, the Lightning McQueens. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah, I saw one the other day. <laughs> Everyone's the whipping 70 and this guy's just in a bike lane going like 10. I'm like, dude, You're gonna go die, on the bro. sidewalk. There, Deal there with a few one bumps. who was on the wrong side of the road, so like going towards traffic and not even on the bike lane, on the shoulder, you know, by the farmer's market, mm-hmm. like where the highway over section is, they were on there. <laughs> and I was like, oh. Yo, some of those electric hurts, scooters, man. though, they can, yeah, they they can rip. Yeah. <laughs> like... There was once when we were working that someone like was flying through the parking lot and just didn't stop at the stop <laughs> sign and just smoked the lady walking. I'm like, I swear the guy was called like 30 on one of those things. But Jeez. the best, the best day ever at Zares was when yeah. one of the, it was like, I forget who it was. It's one of the customer service people was like, yo, this person doesn't need the cart anymore, but it's at the back of the store. Can you come pull it up? I literally ran to the back of the store and I drove this thing like two or three laps around the back. <laughs> There's just something about driving a vehicle like inside. It just gives you this weird like power. And having I, everyone I, stare at you yeah. and be like, what's wrong with you? I feel like there was one Everything. night where it was dead <laughs> yeah. and we had the right manager and we just like dicked around in them for a bit. Oh, for sure. We had races on like night crew with them. Yeah, that's sick. Maybe so, we should have done a night crew after. Or driving the power jack mm-hmm. too. Did you ever do that? <laughs> you just like you, like you turn it backwards and put your feet on the other side <laughs> and drive it on like a scooter. One time I had to do it and I think it was like almost at a battery. So it was like just dragging along the ground. I'm like, it's because you're just moving like one inch. <laughs> just, that was the worst when like someone took it out in the parking lot and it died. It's a and then you got to fucking like lift the thing up and like uh, wheel it back. Yeah, or when Corey's telling you to get all the carts and you just go hang out and uh, fuck that dude. That was just you. Yeah. Remember pushing carts, but, dude. Man, getting the carts from get the time. horse and buggy stuff. Before we get too far track. off topic, yeah, yeah, Robbie right said you had uh, two well, stories. Maybe? I, have t- I have two Let's for the near death experience. One of them was when I had strep. It was like, I literally thought I was going to die. Because, like, I went to St. But that's not <laughs> just because you think. Well, I, it's, yeah, it's, but that's as much of a near death as mine was. Okay. Well, it's like, technically. Fair. I went out for St. Paddy's Day. Um, this St. Paddy's Day? No, no, this is like in second year, so probably. Oh, geez, got some, uh, my knee's just going crazy today. Um, probably, <laughs> wait, second year. I don't know, dude. I don't know how fucking old I am compared to that right now. Let's say You're let's 24. Say, let's just say four years ago. Okay. That makes I'm sense. Painting a picture. Okay. So I go to St. Paddy's Day, and like day of, I feel okay. I know I'm feeling kind of iffy. And then the next day, I go back to school, and I wake up, and I'm trying to talk. I'm like, uh, I'm gonna try to talk. I just like I can't make noises with my fucking throat, bro. Just squeaking. You, can you imagine I'm being able to talk? And then I go to the doctor, in there. and then I was like, I think I was like using like sign language, being like, hey, I can't talk. Like I don't know, because my throat was like closed up. That's when I woke up, and I was like, Yo, I think this. Like, if I die, man, like I gotta call my parents and like show like that. <laughs> you I, can't though. You can't talk. Well, I called them, and I was like, <laughs> yeah, you gotta text them. And I was like forcing them my words. I'm like, Mom, like after like blah blah. Just like, what'd you do yesterday? Where'd you? Did you go out for St. Patrick's Day? Did you drink with all your friends? Blah, I didn't blah, pray blah. enough. And then <laughs> did you have fun? <laughs> and then she was just like lecturing me for that. And then I was like, she's probably like, just go to the doctor. Rob just dies on the phone while she's <laughs> lecturing him. Well, and then go to the doctor. And then the doctor's like, I think you have strep throat. And I'm like, fuck. So then I went and get like a, like a swab done or whatever. And that turns out I had strep. And literally like a week straight, man, like I'd wake up and I would be like shaking in my bed like this, dude. Like blankets covering me. Wake up sweating. Oof. I couldn't even talk for like three days. My roommates like were like, dude, you're fucked, man. Like you're, like, you're actually like my own roommate was like, you're like probably going to like have to go home or you might die man that's what he's telling me as i'm really why sick. would going home save you a bad friend. i don't know well he isn't he wasn't exactly an expert but yeah i had mono and it wasn't even that bad Dude, it was terrible man i've never felt that sick in my life you sound Jeez. like the well i had i had one roommate sorry continue no no it's i'm going um, hell off topic here i was just and then like <laughs> the rest of that time he was just himself, like let's go the rest of that was just like i literally like i thought it was at that phase where i thought i was never going to get better i'm like doomed for it to be the rest of my life be like having to be covered in blankets and like never go outside that's not a fun headspace oh dude Looking i was back like, on it it obviously seems like very dramatic yeah, like, it's it's how, dramatic like, in the now moment, but you probably would be very in the scared. moment i was like 
dude, it was like morning after morning, I wake up and feel worse, like the same, if not like, worse. Well, this is my life now. And it's like, dude, I'm this fucked. Is this is it. I am strep throat Rob now. Yeah, literally. And then there was another time, other than near death right. experience. I have one, okay. so well, I'll go between. All right, all right, all right. Mine kind of, mine kind of connects. So let me right, go in between here. you, okay. going in between him. Drew, the boss man, then back to me. We'll go that way. <laughs> I feel like I've this better this be good. Way too much. This better be good. <laughs> no, you're just saying that you need to go home. I had a roommate, so the one like the one day I woke up and all my roommates were doing acid with all the lights down. Acid? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Fucking hell. In second year, literally, <laughs> literally, I walk upstairs. They didn't tell me about it either, and I just walk upstairs and there's like sheets in the windows, and we're like on the main strip of our university too, so like. People are just like, we're walking by on their way to school and it's just pitch black. I'm like, what are you guys doing? They're just like, acid. Acid. I'm like, <laughs> the fuck? What? Okay. Yeah. Anyway, the, my one roommate comes down in the middle of the afternoon. He's like, I think I need to go home. I'm like, well, like, man, like you should chill for a bit. Like, You're figure acid. it out. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, no, this place is so dirty. I need to go home. And I'm like, dude, like it's, it's going to be okay. Just like relax. He's like, no, books, a, <laughs> books a ticket to London and just drives, gets a bus home to go to like hang out with his parents while he's still on acid. I'm like, dude, if, hey, I, if I did that, my parents would kill me. Jeez. My parents knew that I What like, if you drank said, you casually. just get home and you're like, hey, I missed you guys. How's it going? He's like, by the way, while you're tripping on acid. By the way, he's like, by the way, it's like, why'd you guys grow two heads? When did this happen? (laughs) Mom, why are the knives just hovering above the knife? Yeah. Yeah. Um, Where did aliens come from? (laughs) So my my near death. Why are you mom? Experience the closest I had was when I went to school, the same one that Drew went to. um, What school was it? And then one day I had my exam. (laughs) Wow. I was, gonna say we were both I was commuting in the <laughs> in the winter and I had my exam went to school finished my exam I parked at my like student house while I was writing the exam walked back uh, and then left and I could feel like when I started the car and like I put it in brake to go into reverse I was like that felt a little weird no Tesla it was, it's still this point, yeah this was before yeah, Tesla this is before. in case anyone was wondering didn't and then Tesla at this point. Uh, when I was driving I was like oh like Car feels a little rigid, but I was like, oh, it's probably just cold. It's oh, was the out SUV here. you had? Yeah, yeah, for like three hours. <laughs> yeah. And then after like, normally I would take the like 401. Mm-hmm. We all take that. But today I was like, oh, or that day I was like, oh, I'll just take the back roads. Like it says it's two minutes faster. Might as well save myself two minutes. Two minutes. Um, Time and is money. then go on mm-hmm. the back roads and then drove for like 30 minutes, no problems. And then we get to one of the cities with like a bunch of the roundabouts uh, with the back roads. And then I was trying to go around one and I like hit my brakes and just nothing happens. Cool. And I'm going like 80 cause it's Jeez. back roads. And then I just have to like fucking whip around the roundabout. And I was like, <laughs> what the fuck just happened? And then I, I was like, if you know, <laughs> you the and then like, um, I was like slamming on the brakes and like trying to get them to work and then pump them. nothing was happening. Okay. I was pumping them. Did and like, like, it was like, break. No, no, no. Well, like it, there'd be an engine brake, but that would like fucking destroy. Yeah. The I car. guess that would fuck the car up. Um, but anyway, so like I was like pumping the brakes and just nothing was happening. It was like very slightly slowing down, but not enough. And I went through another run about like 50 and it was not my turn, but I just fucking like, like gun it through. <laughs> I, was like, I'm like, sorry, Fuck I, <laughs> I had no choice. And then like, I just pulled to the right and was just, I think I put on my hazards and then just like let the car naturally slow down. I had to, I was probably like going 30 or so and I had to just yank it into a subdivision cause I couldn't stop it. So mm-hmm. I, I like pulled into the subdivision sat there and I was just like I could have fucking died today because if, <laughs> if I was on the highway I wouldn't have fucked oh, going fucked. like 120 yeah. no way I could ever stop he, he stopped it's naturally like, it's like that I guess it's like movie with like when they put a bomb on a bus or a car speed. and then you can't speed, slow yeah. down yeah mm-hmm. so that, that's his life that's a sick movie or that one train movie yeah. there's one where like speed a train speed too <laughs> yeah <laughs> isn't this wait is this speed on a train isn't this no, 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 there's one where no. like a train's going through Montreal or somewhere in France or some shit oh is Jean-Claude Van Damme in it like for real Probably. <laughs> Montreal or he's, France. He's the guy who can do this. He's like in some French split. area, man. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, That's the train's just like <laughs> flying and they can't stop it. And it's just like going around and around. It goes like right through a city. That's pretty fucked. You kind of reminded me of like when I didn't really have a near-death experience, but I thought I was going to kind of like Rob. And it was when I went to Mont Tremblant and I was going up this like spiral hill to get into our Airbnb. It's like a ski resort, right? That place? Yeah. I think like but it's like an actual up? city. No, in, a, in in my friend's mom's like four-cylinder minivan. Oh, okay. Up this like <laughs> icy spiral thing at one in the morning because we like left after work or something. And it was just terrifying. We started like um, sliding backwards. Fuck and, that, dude. Oh, man. It's a good time. We ended up making it somehow. I, I honestly don't I, I figured as much thing as hell. Yeah, yeah. 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 I'm Spoiler a shell of a alert. man, but... Hologram Drew is here and present. Yeah. <laughs> All right, number two. 
it's just like a, it's like I'm trying. It's gonna be hard to not tell a story without doxing where it happened. Okay. But so I went to school in a pretty sketchy town, yeah. which you guys are pretty sure of, right? The armpit. Yeah. Worse than the armpit. The fucking gooch of, of <laughs> where I <laughs> left. The uh, gooch of Ontario. Literally. True. And like so, we're at a party. I'm trying to think again. So I'm with my two roommates, and like all you have to do is literally just not say the names of places. I know, but like You're I'm good. just so bad for that. Continue. Okay, well, I'll try. I'll just I'll just get after it. <laughs> yep. So it's me and my two roommates, these two random girls that we met, and there's kind of one sketchy guy who we hadn't met yet, or I, we had just met at this party. And mm-hmm. then, so we're talking to this guy, and he's like giving us the runs, oh, you know, I'm a big shot, like, you know, I'm kind of like a drug dealer around here, a kick, a drug kingpin, blah, blah, blah. Who brags about that? I know, that, that's, what, that's how you know someone's trashy right off the bat, right? And it's then, probably um, also how you know they're not the kingpin. Yeah, it's probably, he's yeah. probably like some random or homeless Or you brag dude. about it so much. And then everyone won't fuck with you because they're like, they see the- well, like he gave off the kind of vibe where he's like, that's an undercover cop. Like, you know, you know, like, <laughs> you know, the kind of vibe you get from someone where you're just like, he's probably got a knife on him or something like a gun or something. You just don't want to like, yeah, yeah. cross him. Like the Crossbow. individual we met in Boston. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, continue. But, um, so like we met him and then dude, this was, on the, this was on the news. Oh, dude. Yeah. Gotcha. Gotcha. Wait, Andy. who is it? Andy. <laughs> Andy. <laughs> He, he met like, us in a trench coat. The like Andy? Like, yeah. Uh, trench coat and like fedora, like Andy. full nine yards. Yeah. The fuck? Anyways, continue. Was, imagine owning a trench coat. How old is he? He's not that old, is he? Nope. My dad has a trench coat. Anyway, continue. Sorry. Um, wait, let me gather myself. Okay. Um, so, <laughs> so Kingpin. So we we're talking yep. to him, and he's giving oh, me really right. weird vibes, but like he was being nice, so I didn't want to like, I wasn't gonna get go out of my way to be like, I'm not talking to you, man. Leave me alone. So I was like, kind of just like shooting the shit with him. I would just ignore him. Um. Well, my roommate started talking to him, and, and me being the social butterfly I am, I just kind of got like indoctrinated into that conversation by accident. Anyways, I guess by like, accidentally on purpose. Like, so a few of his friends show up, and like we're talking to them again. I'm getting really sketched out. I'm just like I'm trying what, to kind of like the stature of these people. So like baggy, like really baggy clothes, like wearing Sta- bean, wearing stature is how like their body type. Oh, like. <laughs> I would have said the same man. thing, Sam. I'm not gonna lie. Like, how tall would you say like, they were? Like, one of them was like, taller like, than did me. They look like, no, they were like skinny dudes. They looked like they were drug addicts, to be honest. Oh, okay. Like, That's but what I baggy clothes, wearing like beanies in the middle of summer. You know what I mean? So just like really sketchy vibes. Um, so his friends come up, and like they're even more sketchy. So I'm like, I'm not trying to be a part of this at all. So I'm kind of like pulling away, and then another group of like drug dealer people show up to the same party. And that's what, and like, but they weren't friends with these guys. Like, they were kind of being hostile to each other right off the bat, being like, oh, what the fuck is so and so here? Blah, blah, blah. Really, I want to be surprised this was all happening in that city, but I just, it's dude, it's no, not, this is like, this is, yeah. this is an everyday weekend. That's like a Saturday. Day. Yeah, literally. <laughs> that's a good day. Yeah. yeah. There's, no, no one died today. Perfect. <laughs> well, we, um, we don't know yet. Well, exactly. Spoilers. Continue, continue. Um, and then it's getting really, really tense, like r- yelling, like, I, like, these guys are staring at each other, like, mom. literally, like, fuck you, like, we we were here, like we were here first. Fuck you guys. Blah blah blah. Like, like <laughs> the kindergarten. Tactic. No, like literally. It's like it's it's comical to say now, but like in the moment, These I was are like, adults? <laughs> I'm tripping. So like me and my two roommates, uh, we're like, yo, like I'm, I got told them, I'm like, yo, I'm getting out of here. You guys can do what you want. I'm leaving. And then my one roommate was like, you know what? Rob seems to be like the only one who's like has peace of mind here. How as weird as that sounds. So he's like, I'm coming with him. The story's fake. Other friends <laughs> yeah. like Rob's a little pussy. And then my other yeah. friend did say that. He's like, you're just being p- soft, man. I'll see you guys later. So he stayed. So nice. me and my other roommate, like, we, we go to leave. On the, so I stop in the bathroom on the way out. And then all we hear is like, like a literal, like a bang, a gunshot. I'm not kidding, in the backyard. And someone had a gun and was shooting like in the air like this. This was on the news. I can find the news article for you guys after. And yeah, everything. sure. Dig it up, please. Um, and then like. Should be a photo of Rob on the shitter. And then <laughs> these guys are just fighting, dude. There's like a 15 person brawl happening in this house. And then the door opened, and like the guys are hammering on the bathroom door, <laughs> asking like, who the fuck is in there, blah blah blah. Like, who are you? Uh, I'm uh, like, I'm, dude, I'm, don't open. I look to my roommate, like, don't open that fucking door, bro, or we're gonna die like, tonight, here and now. <laughs> don't, don't ask. <laughs> well, he was in there with me. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I was, we were, Why were you? We were, just, we were peeing, bro. Just don't cross streams. Was yeah, it like I, a one toilet situation? Yeah, like, I was peeing, fight. and he was gonna pee after me. Yeah. Yeah. How big was the bathroom? Not that big. Asking the wrong question. <laughs> this is getting worse. Either way, we were in the. You never done that? <laughs> no. Never cross streams? No, you don't cross streams. Like you pee at the same time, but you can't. If, like if it's. It, just you know what this reminds me of? What? Um, have you seen Twenty Two Jump Street? Yes. 
remember when like they're trying to bust the drug dealers but they don't have their guns and the drug dealer's like who's over there and they go see and it's just like my name jeff he, no he grabs his like <laughs> he grabs him and he puts his like near the cross he's like oh like sorry like we're just you know and the guy's like oh it's just a couple of you know dudes yeah doing dudes. stuff a couple of what, mingle <laughs> not saying it but, but uh yeah so like me and my roommate are like sitting on the ground with our backs to the door, like getting our heads smacked in because they're banging the door so hard. We're like, I'm like, yo, I'm calling the cops. I don't care if I get arrested for something. I'm just not gonna die tonight. So I go to call 911, but like as I'm going to do that, my roommate smacks my phone. He's like, no man, don't worry. Like, it's st- like they stopped hitting the door right as I'm gonna go to do that. Okay. So we wait. It's not. It's like a, like a horror movie, dude. My roommate like opens the door and peeks his head out. He's like this, and then all he sees is like, dude, I think we're good. So then both of us like creep out of the bathroom. And all we hear is like, hey, hey, they're in the bathroom. And then we both just start sprinting out of this house, bro. But dude, well, I'm telling you, when I was sitting in that bathroom with the door being hammered on, like, but it was a brawl happening, dude, I literally thought like they're gonna start it's shooting. Through. I was like, this is it. I was like, dude, I'm gonna die in some fucking shitty house in the, in the place I went to school. <laughs> so yeah. close. So like, close. just like, I dude, just thinking about it, it gives me fucking goosebumps, man. I'm not even kidding. Uh, honestly, I'd be uh, shitting bricks too. I would, I'll give yeah, you that one. one. That, that was a much better one than the first one. Well, I thought like ten percent. Here's the yeah. thing: I had a strap. <laughs> all our all our near deaths. I, she, not even close not near deaths, but good, well, good I do stories. have one more. All right, that's probably the most near death out of all of us. Okay. So, what? Continue. <laughs> <laughs> um, you weren't there for it. Shane was. Um, you almost killed the man. Where was I? <laughs> yeah, times. Shane almost killed me. What was I doing? It was um a few days before You're too our. Drunk. San Diego trip, and oh. then Shane was like, no, "Hey, we can like get last one last year. climb in before yeah. we go." Oh, <laughs> and I was like, "Sure, this one is, could be the harm in the and This then, is the clo- yeah. Continue. This, this is just a near death experience, or is it <laughs> not near, near death? death okay, but like okay. A no. fifteen foot drop from the rock climbing wall onto my foot. That's nothing. And I sprained it. Okay. See, the thing is, strip was a near death. The thing is, is like you weren't there for the after effect. Like he, we pull him off to the side, and he's just sitting there. Oh, like, the ankle. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, yeah. okay, you're good. Like, it's fine. And he's like, no, it really hurts. I'm like, okay, I'm going to go climb. <laughs> and then, you do, you do. And you. then I'm going to come back. And then I realize, like, okay, he's not moving. Right, I mean, I think it's hurt around Shane. But then, okay, so I came. <laughs> I didn't go, go climb. Burger. I'll be back. I didn't <laughs> climb. I stayed with him. And then just like that one second where I'm like, okay, let's try to stand. Let's walk over there. And like he goes to stand up, he's like, "No, I can't right now." Sits back down. All I saw was black. <laughs> and like, then I when he sits anything. back down, like I looked at him and I completely lost him. And I'm like, "Holy shit, this is actually serious!" Like, like you know when you look in someone's eyes and there's nothing. Yeah. He's like, gone. Shane's just like Christian is on a different health? planet. <laughs> I was no, gonna say no. that's what like Drew looks like every day. Yeah. <laughs> He's just gone. <laughs> but regardless, like he's not there. Like, like I'm talking to him. And he's not even saying anything. He's just staring no, at the wall. Not home. And I gave him the old, just like focus on your breathing. You'll get through it. And then all of a sudden, you just like it, like something registered, and he starts to breathe again. And then he's like, he's probably just were in shock or something. He man. literally I, was in shock. I, yeah. Because if I've, I've had like in football when I busted my knee, like I I, I played for like another ten minutes, mm-hmm. and then when I came off the field and I took my helmet off, your emotions and pain start to catch up to you. I just remember feeling my knee was gonna like explode off my body, yeah. and then I just blacked out for like 20 minutes. I'm yeah. sure, I'm sure I had adrenaline like, pumping because that was like a really yeah. hard wall that I was trying to yeah, climb yeah, for the yeah, first probably. time, or like actually about to make it. Yeah. And then everything collapsed. Yeah, but again, he was like probably like a, like within like a second of passing out. Probably. But then he just like because you probably, deep breaths. You probably weren't used to that much pain at once, and then you just like blow your body that, overloaded. It wasn't that bad, but it was more so the fact that like I fell off the wall and it's I was like, like oh, I'm fine. And, then and I like tried to walk, and, and I was like, I'm not walk. fine. It was like when he stood up and he's like, okay, I'm good. And he took that first step. He put a little bit of weight on his foot, and then he like he like he, yeah. I took all his weight. He sat back down, and then I'm like, Christian, Christian, and he's just just staring at the wall I'm like oh fuck he's done as shitty as that yeah. was though those are some good memes when you were in a wheelchair for a while <laughs> for, <laughs> sure. for sure my favorite was uh, at TwitchCon like uh, I went, we all went to go get our badges and I was like oh I'm gonna go to the merch store because it's partners and then I like got a wheelchair rolling around the convention center I roll up and then they're like oh there's like the special handicap access yeah. and like the, wind, the lineup was like two hours long so I was like fuck oh. it the handicap I walk right or I roll right roll in, right in. Yeah. and then um, I'm just like rolling around looking at stuff and then I see priest and I roll up I'm like yo priest priest and he's like just not hearing me <laughs> so then, like I'm sitting pretty low and I like 
tug on his shirt. <laughs> I'm like, priest. <laughs> and he looks at me like, who the fuck? What the fuck is this? It's like Tiny Tim from the And now every time he tells a story, it's like, I, just, I felt like it was some someone's kid just running around just yanking on people's shirts. My, 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 my wake, my, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> Next. <laughs> my make a wish isn't until 2. <laughs> it's still 2 p.m. Get back in line, buddy. There is two parts of that trip, like the wheelchair that I remember is number one is like we went to like San Diego Zoo and like there's these massive hills. I'm pushing this guy's fat ass up these hills <laughs> and like every couple of seconds, every time like I, he'd like make a joke about it or something like Christian, like I could let go. <laughs> And you would be gone. Like, he would be gone. We're on, like, these steep slopes. I'm pushing this guy. I'm like, Whoa. if I just fucking <laughs> close, bro. It's just close your bottle. It's, it's just water. <laughs> uh, action shot, right? All right, I'm going to grab it. <laughs> but anyways, I was like... And before Ben, like, this is so confusing for the audio listener. Yeah, Ben's a bitch. But, uh... I just, <laughs> But as soon as like there's so many times where like we're at the top and we're, we're slowly going down I'm like I could have just pushed this guy down he could be gone forever it is in San Francisco too right oh no San Diego San Diego San Fran's oh, the, if you were in San Fran this guy yeah, would be a goner bro we could have let him go at the top of the hill he's in the bay yeah. gone gone I, I was Chris shocked he's like sinking to the bottom like a car in water dude San Fran is like 90 degree hills like everywhere yeah. that was yeah. fun to walk up what? I didn't I didn't expect that when I was in San Fran when do you go to San Francisco uh, for Phantom Sight Mm-hmm. Recording, because that was like their season final was in Milan, so they're like, we're just gonna fly to San Francisco. This thing, cool part about San Fran for me was Alcatraz, and then that little rocky road that like, or that little pebble path that goes like this. You guys ever done that? No, I only know it from Skate or Tony Hawk or yeah. One of Did the, you one actually of games you tour Alcatraz or just see it from the? We water. saw because the the tour itself was like way too expensive. And my yeah, dad was fucked. my dad was pissed. He's like, I'm not spending. X amount of dollars to go stand Which is in some fair. dusty old prison. I'm like, well, it's not a dusty old prison, first off, but still, I, I could easily see Rob being the type of guy being like, it looks different than the movies. I don't well, remember. Is that where Harry Potter went? The reason, <laughs> the reason I really wanted to go there was because there's a, a Call of Duty Zombies map on Alcatraz. <laughs> Mob of the Dead. Anyone knows? You know what I'm talking about, people. I know you he do. just broke the fourth wall. Jeez, this guy. Bang. <laughs> I, I summit 1G'd the fourth wall, bro. Jeez. But, and I wanted to see it like in person, but... Because apparently the map is like really accurate, you know, and I'm a big historian. So, so yeah, but, you, you but I didn't go inside. I didn't get to see like you know. You did in zombies. The inner workings. Yeah, I guess in zombies I did. Close enough. Almost the same. I'm not gonna remember to edit that's that like, out. That's like that's <laughs> like that's like um, friggin' California and GTA Five. I want to go there just to see if I can navigate my way around from my GTA Five. Dude, apparently like Michael's name. It's na- not Michael's actually house. like laid out the same. Dude, Michael's though. house yeah, is it's in like, real it's life. like one X amount of scale. Like you LA? know, not a chance. Yeah. There's no fucking. Like way. you know, Michael though. Yeah, yeah, look it up. The one playable character, Drew. Michael. You can, yeah. His house is a real Michael house. Michael. Michael. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, like I imagine the terrain is. I don't think the roads are anything like they that. Piece, I, I think, think they're very. Similar. I'm 99 percent sure they just like pieced blocks together. Well, Rodeo drives yeah. in GTA. So you'd, maybe. Yeah. So you'd like, probably go down a road and be like, "Why is there no building here?" Exactly. Well, they well, like took a piece from here, put it here, put it here. Like. Well, the main strip's definitely the same. That, and, I'll, that I'll probably give you, but and the I'm rest saying I don't think. Rodeo Drive is in, is in that, that one little street of the really expensive shops yeah. is in GTA 2. Yeah. You guys know what Rodeo Drive is, right? Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that literally just what I just said? Yes. Yeah, the strip? <laughs> Isn't is it the same thing? The strip yeah, yeah, of Rodeo yeah. Drive? And there's always the one Bugatti park there that you steal, but like it's actually there in real oh, life. Oh, the yellow one? Mm-hmm. I mean, I've played way too much Why GTA is it there 5. in real life? It's one of the, one of the like really Shop high-end owners. designers. Um, it used to be his. And so he'd always park it out in front of his shop, and then he died, but they just keep it there as like a That's like the biggest memorial. flex that is. funeral ever. Yeah. So bury, yeah, bury me and leave my Bugatti in front of my GTA store. GTA 5, ride up on a little Vespa, steal the Bugatti, dip. <laughs> I fucking, my fag, you, yo. <laughs> you, you missed out, man. Like, our call, or our GTA days were the oh, Call of Duty I days. I did miss out. Our fucking prime. Some of the funniest moments ever came from that game. The Just best. Like, I think you guys would always talk about it because I was on Xbox and you'd talk yeah. about it at Zares and I literally debated getting a PS4 just to play I, with I literally bought some of the best PS4 times ever. Yeah. so I could play with them. Yeah. Yeah. That was literally the only reason I bought it. We're like, we, we'd like, we all like buy like the, the moped, just trick it out and just like four or five of us rolling down streets, just honking at people, having a good time. My did favorite you guys, hours. Did you guys do the money glitches? Oh yeah, of yeah. course. Nice. Yeah, for hours. I'd get a text and like Niall would be like, "Oh, new glitch! Like, go do this." It was <laughs> always <laughs> Niall, yeah, hooking us up with the money glitch. The best is when it was winter time and it, like it was snowy everywhere. You just get like a tricked out suburban in your little elf hat and just go fucking drifting <laughs> around the streets. 
My favorite good. with the mopeds was like Shane's horn was the truck horn. <laughs> so you'd like roll up and <laughs> brr, yeah, and then his... mine was like the clown horn. Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> How fitting, eh? It's perfect. Yeah. Christian the clown. But I just it? I remember the, the one update truck. when you could finally upgrade like the, the mopeds up. So like I had like the 50 mirrors. Like, oh, it was amazing. <laughs> my moped could go faster than my fastest car at the time. Like, I think I got banned before then. Yeah, probably. We, we just had to give all our money our cards got locked and then they took all my money that game was yeah, the same thing that happened to me but that's when i stopped playing they gave me like 50 grand i'm like i can't do anything that was still the best care. day ever like so it's me niall and christian playing and we look and someone puts a negative or sorry like a one billion dollar bounty on niall's head <laughs> and me and or and me Jesus. and christian are like do we do it and i was like someone kill me right now <laughs> I'm like, oh, fuck it, I'll do it. And then someone puts like a negative one billion bounty on someone's head, and we're like, how does this happen? <laughs> and then it was like a twenty billion dollar bounty on someone's head, and Niall, it was on mine. So Niall killed me in a heartbeat. <laughs> and then Christian's like, dude, we can get banned for spending that. Don't do it. Niall's already bought half the fucking. <laughs> He's just in the in the menus buying everything he can. <laughs> All I bought was like. Was it the adder or something? Yeah, you bought the fastest car. The yeah. fastest car, and then like the apartment, and that was it. I was like, yeah. I had like 1.8 billion left. I'm like, I'm not spending yeah, I bought that. the 10 car garage, made all my cars match, all souped up. I went all in. Our, See, our we car... already like that though. We had our cars matching. Well, the first ones, you, so you own... drifted off fast because you started mm-hmm. getting like bright colors, but mine were uh, always orange and black. Well, I had different themes. Like we had, we each had like our, we had our Tokyo drift car. Yeah. We had like our muscle car. We had our like rolling around the street car. We had like our high roller car. I, I loved was there, our motorcycles. Point. I loved my like muscle or like the big car because you had like a giant truck. Um, yeah. <laughs> and I had, I think, was it the armored car or something? I don't I know. Think and so. then I, I picked the one that was just literally just the Hummer. <laughs> like it's a cheap car in the game and I was just like yeah. I decked it and out it, and out. it was so fucking nice and then the we would just bump into people on the road the game but the amount of hours too we spent I, I forgot like on motorcycles just like riding around the town hitting park benches and then trying to land on buildings and then once someone hit a building spending hours trying to replicate that exact same jump <laughs> well they like, stand at the top just laughing at you it, literally the whole time Oh. Dude, GTA has some serious fucking legs. Is that still like the fifth biggest category on Twitch any given night? It's because of role playing. It's, it's role so playing. old. When, when, when role playing, I'll explain after. But when role playing came out, like uh, GTA went up. from Rob, like maybe two thousand concurrent viewers to like hundred k. Mm-hmm. Wow. But uh, role playing is basically so. There's this server where everyone has a character, and like you don't have much money. You have a place that you live, and then everyone has an occupation. Like. Some people will be doctors, some people will be drug dealers, and some you have people, to play the role. Some people will be yeah, like and like cops. they'll ban you if you don't play your role. So like you're they're like, very strict you're playing about it. Like a game within a game. You're like So it's like the Sims almost. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And there's only yeah, like a yeah, hundred exactly. slots on a server. Um, almost all of them are big streamers now. And they're all playing that game. So that's so like, why it's always huge. How are like how would someone be a doctor though? You know like, I mean? So you, they have you literally a bunch of mods. so in the game you all oh, it's modded. Yeah, yeah. But so like in the game you wake up, you go to the hospital, you'd work, people are dying because they're just shooting each other in the streets because of the drug deals and like the police are killing people. So you're, you're role-playing healing somebody, even though you're just clicking a button to heal. And then oh, like, it could okay. be a police officer. One guy, the like, really popular like, one, was an that. old man. He, had, like, he was a part of the <laughs> gangs or whatever. Yeah. And he like did the voice perfectly. He would walk around in his character perfectly, and everyone Damn. loved it. Yeah. And they actually were like, so strict where they're like, if you're streaming it, you can't have a face cam. Damn. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They take it seriously, seriously. Yeah, oh, yeah. it's amazing. But that's are why we, it's uh, huge. Are we playing GTA 6 when it comes out? If and when. It won't it come won't out. Come out. Well, I heard I heard rumors. GTA Six. They said they said GTA Online is like their now new dedicated thing that they're just going to support. That's what Rockstar said. For now, yeah, it just makes them. They'll make make a new one eventually, maybe like ten years. It it just makes them so much money still. I'm sure they'll make like GTA Six for a story, but there's no way that they're going to make a new like online thing. I saw Mm -hmm. a meme the other day where it was people like time traveling, and they're like. Hey, go ask that guy uh, like a question, like figure out what what time, what oh. year we're in. And he goes up, he's like, "Hey, what's the latest GTA?" And the guy's like, "GTA 5." And he goes back to his friend, he's like, "Yeah, no idea what year we're in." <laughs> <laughs> it's actually true though. Random, random thought. Rocket League is coming, is becoming free to free play. Free to play. I did see that. Remember, I wanted you to get it for a long time. Then I'm like, ah, but don't pay because we might fall right out of it. Yeah. I Niall's bought it. gonna be pumped. It's free to play now. It's probably going to get a big esports growth now, I imagine. 
Maybe. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. It, it as esports. It, esports I've is actually, actually popular in it. It's just yeah, the yeah. like regular watching nobody cares about. I mm-hmm. guess. Well, like just because it's the same thing over. But like, we. I mean, a lot of like, things are the same thing. If you're over. into like would sports you, games, Rob, we, I think you. Would I, like I, I, I played Rocket League before. I played with Nile back in the day, so like we would always, yeah. or he would just score like four goals, and I would just chill the entire time, Me just too. going in circles. Yeah. Because I like doing the thing. I was trying to learn where you would like, you know, jump and then tilt your car and boost up and fly around and shit. Yeah. But I was never good enough to like angle myself and do actual like moves. Niles nasty. Yeah, Niles disgusting at Rocket League, bro. When we started, I remember like I was the first one to figure out how to do that air control, and I was like, "Oh, I'm awesome!" And then now just fucking play the game twenty hours a day, and I was like, "Okay, you're now doing better." Fucking roof jumps now, and it's nuts. But the old ice cream truck days. Mm -hmm. We would do we would do a three man ice cream truck because if you were on PlayStation, you get the ice cream truck from. uh, You had to unlock it somehow. Twisted Metal, you know. It's a free. It's a. That's a. That's a free game. It's a like racing, like yeah. car destruction, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Where it's just like it's team deathmatch, and you have cars with like weapons on them, and it's like yeah. an ice cream truck from the game, and we'd get that in just Rocket League and just drive around, around with it. Or Literally, the the pedal vans. The last time I played Rocket League was when I went to visit Christian at school. Yeah, we should play. I'm down. That was when Drew got reinvited into the group. Yep. And then we lost Rob. That was the After open invite. Year, Drew, it was because like, hey. the slot opened up. Yeah, it was a, it was a shift change. <laughs> Wait, who did we dump for Rob then? We, uh, we, we created a Josh. new spot. Oh. Yeah. No, Rob, all, during all that time, was very, like, in and out. In I was in and out a lot of things. Oh, Get Jesus. It? Yeah. Get it? Yeah. Sad. Yeah, like school. Yeah, school Ooh. too. Oh. And, and getting struck. Uh, uh, I guess you were only out. School. My bad. <laughs> Jobs. <laughs> What year, what year did you leave school? I've always wondered. 2017. Like, what, like, year of your university, though? Oh, fourth year. Oh, fourth what? year? I was already no. a month into my fourth year. I thought year. it was second year for some no. reason. I was, I was a month into my fourth year. What was your thought process? Have I asked this already? I can't remember. Hey, this makes me money. money. Hey, this won't make me any money. Just like, um, like, I like, was, school, money. <laughs> like was it, like, a trade-off of school making you miserable versus no. Wasn't it? streaming so being fun? It was straight up... I talked to one of my professors because he his this wasn't getting you what he you was needed. in masters and he was like taking or studying for his PhD while teaching yeah and his PhD was about YouTube and content creation um, specifically like content ID and mm-hmm. copyright but I talked to him about it because he knew a lot about YouTube and when I told him everything showed my channel and all that he straight up said you're making more money now than any of your classmates will make in their career <laughs> and he said drop out for at least a year, see how it goes. If it's bad, you can always come back. School is not going to go anywhere. You have you, you, everything. You owe this guy a lot. And then he was just like, if I were you, I'd drop out right now. That's crazy. Do you still get to keep in contact? I, <laughs> I tried emailing him after and he just ghosted me. So I was like, right. <laughs> that's fair. his loss. Yeah. Damn. Because I told him, I was just like, hey, because he talked about like Rip. needing a lot of help with his PhD because it's hard to get like YouTubers and stuff. I was like, I can help you. He just never. Christian comes back. Like, right. No, I'm big, I'm, I'm big time now. I can get he probably you. dropped out too. He's like, well, that was my only friend in this program. <laughs> and, so, <laughs> and that and that prof is now known as Mr. Beast. <laughs> Yo, can you imagine? That'd be crazy. He, he was a great game. prof for my uh, like copyright stuff. Taught me a lot about that, and then made me realize why YouTube is the way it is, and that yeah. YouTubers are just annoying for complaining. If uh, I, they should. Here's the thing. Amen. I have a bone to pick with the education system I as a pick whole. The bone. It's okay. like my school. I was this talking some about this, deep shit right now. Yeah, I'm about to go in. <laughs> so my school okay. cost my school cost me all in res textbooks, class tuition from day one to grad to graduation, which you have to pay to go to graduation. Okay. Seventy seven thousand dollars. You had to pay to go to graduation. Yeah, you have to buy a ticket and pay for oh. your th- thing. So it's seventy seven thousand dollars. That's that's chump change. Most Pretty much Ben's on playing that in like a fucking year, isn't he? Yeah. yeah. Most most US. U- universities in uh, yeah. the U.S. If it's out of state, it's but forty thousand. Actually, to straight up to be fair, year. seventy-seven thousand in Canada is actually that's a lot. Like, that's, that's, that's probably, a lot. And like, mine might have been a bit higher. Yeah, and like I'm gonna, I got blessed with a good financial situation, like <laughs> family-wise and everything. But people who like are less fortunate are gonna get fucked by that for the rest mm-hmm. of their like lives. Like true. No, he's a nah. rich white kid too. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but the thing is, <laughs> yes, your any entry, any entry level job you make, you get unless you're an anomaly, you're gonna make like thirty five to fifty k per year for your first couple years. Factor in taxes, 
all your expenses. You don't what? have a first you don't job. So? You never finished school. No, no, I don't know any of this. <laughs> oh, because yeah. I've never had to. Well, like, you're learn right. about it's like that. 50k. So, so you're going to you're net about 30k per year at, at your entry level job mm-hmm. after everything. Just, I always thought it was like 60k was starting. No. it's like 50, 60. I think anywhere. If, if I, you're in tech with like a computer science degree, then maybe yeah. that's yeah. what I'm thinking. Because um, I was every job I looked at, the highest that I applied to was like 68. And this I was guy's like, not in tech with a computer science no, degree. Not, I never took com- writing code or and big shit. I should have listened to my daddy. Wanted me to go to U of T for data science. Yeah, anything to do with like compu- anything to do with writing code these days, you're you're fine if you know how to do yeah. that. But just like you're set up for I failure, man. In, in my years, opinion, so. you know mm-hmm. what I mean. You're set up to for failure because not not long term, but like right as you finish school, you're going to be in debt. Your job isn't going to pay your bills, and like you don't get much help for finding a job once you actually graduate. Like there's one, if you have a co-op, then yeah, sure. But like, you graduate and your school says, "Oh, thanks for your money. Here's your degree. Go fuck yourself. Good luck finding so, a job." I kind what? of agree with you, and I kind of. Don't. But I, I, the, I again, want to the flip side. Oh, again, in Canada, we're we're not bad. Like this yeah. is like even crazier in the states. You could pay two hundred thousand and then come out getting but paid thirty k. Sy- but the system is like just that process is what yeah, really makes sense. So, so what are you so gonna do? From what I've seen online, take it with a grain of salt. I think they said that um, the average inflation for university prices like whether it's textbooks or like classes and stuff has inflated by about like two thousand percent while everything else inflated at normal rates yeah your wages first of all don't buy textbooks I buy yeah, some of them. You, you have to buy them. Online. Dude. I know because you need like that stupid code. The in code, the back of the dude. Text. I or, paid like two hundred bucks for a little fucking online code just to get into a. Or it's platform. like the teacher's like, I just made this textbook this year and we need it for this class. Those were the worst. Yeah, where they make their it. own textbooks yeah. and then they're so like, you need it for this. You're a goddamn. <laughs> you're a goddamn crook. I did not I'm mind. Jokes on you. I'm not coming. I'm failing. I'm I did here. not mind those. <laughs> I'll you should because you. <laughs> my profs would make those textbooks and only charge like 15, 20 bucks. Mine like hundreds awesome. like, of dollars. I would rather pay that than pay 200 for a fucking yeah. Pearson textbook. It was so thousands The only term reason term. I kind of agree with you and kind of don't is I agree they do set you up for failure in the most part. But Brie, for instance, has almost paid off her student debt and she's the first person in her family to go to university. And the only reason she's almost paid off her debt is because she just worked her ass off through school. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so but it's like, like you can do it. It's, just, it's but, funny because like Bree's like that same with Amanda. She yeah. did school, then she did a post grad in Toronto, which so we were like she did four years of university in town. Okay, mm-hmm. paid X amount of dollars. Went to Toronto for one year with unpaid co op, and ended up having to pay more in that one year than her four years here. Fuck, really? well, that's Toronto for you. That's crazy. It's insane. But anyway, also, regardless, a unpaid co op. <laughs> I'm ridiculous. <laughs> that's a whole it's other a, it's story. A, it's volunteer. But anyway, expecting the social sciences. Yeah. <laughs> But anyway, she's same thing. She yeah. she actually got a decent job at a school and she's paid everything off in like two years. We worked at a pharmacy through all of university just to pay it off. Uh-huh. Like again, it's a, it's feasible. And like I'd say 30 to 40% of people will probably be in this situation. But Rob doesn't want to work. He wants no, to go to the party and get shot at. I, I worked pretty hard. I worked throughout my entire university career but again luckily i was in a blessed enough situation to not have to worry about rob let's hear I, it i don't let's, i don't i don't want to say, don't say I, don't, I don't want to say this as a rose coming, but he's just saying. hearing you talk about how much you hate any job that you ever get no matter how good it is <laughs> I, like, I can't imagine you working hard i liked my first co-op if they had you taken said, me you back sound like I my could... parents yelling at me when i'd come home yelling about Corey, and they'd be like you need like you're they're getting to learn to like your bosses some of them aren't the grass i'm sure he's not that bad they got fired i'm like Parents, yeah. I told you, you gotcha. dick. my first co-op was sick like i got to do with what to work with vr and do lots of cool shit that's a job i would have genuinely enjoyed maybe i've just struck out last three jobs i've had but i've just been have been had you literally I, you I've literally, had miserable bosses i've had work that's fucking monotonous and shitty that's every office job yeah you have well, a decent job like that. it's a job. decent job i have to work from home and it's whatever yeah. but like i don't know man I just feel like there's just like then keep looking. Oh, so I'm going to be. I am actively. Rob, can I just throw something in there? Yes. What did you do today? I worked hard. On on today is Monday. Rob, work day. Your seven How many naps a, did you take? Your seven and Zero. a half hours say nothing less. <laughs> yeah, two he, naps. We can't two him. naps. He's already said he's I, looking for some. We I can't worked hard. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's, oh, yeah. I got future employers yeah. listening to this. At the beginning, you want to talk about your story from work. Okay, that this made is something different though. Okay, so I've had this. I've had this one client where literally like, so they've been a pain in my backside the entire time. Okay. Um, like, but I go out of my way for them cause they're relatively nice older people. They're a client. They're a client. And you know, I'm, you know, work comes first, cust- client always first, customer always wins, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Bunch of, you drank, you, you drank the cool shit. You drank yeah, the cool literally. 
But and so like I'm supposed to be giving these people three total like time slots, and then I'm supposed to send them on their way. We've had eleven, and one of them was an hour just to set up this guy's fucking Gmail. Is because he lost his own password, and he's like, hey. He calls me up, hey, uh, I, know, I know that you're usually helping me with this, but I figured you've helped me before. Can you help me with this? I'm like, got nothing better to do. Sure. <laughs> Why not? Um, at that day, I had nothing better to do. Okay. I'm going to phrase yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then, so, today we have a meeting, number 12. And then, these guys are really starting to get my nerves. They schedule me. They, they try to schedule me every day in a row, but they, they're not allowed to do that. So, my boss was like, hey, just cancel these meetings. Let them know. And so, then, like, okay, we had a meeting today. They were, so we had a meeting. I'm sitting there waiting for them. They don't show up for 15 minutes. So then 15 minutes is our cutoff. Like, okay, it's whatever. So I email them. I'm like, okay, sorry we couldn't connect today. Here's my link to reschedule, whatever. So it turns out they like dialed in like two minutes after that 15 minute window. And this old dude was somehow so upset that he like went straight to my manager about it. And he was like, we're canceling. Like the way we were treated today was unacceptable. <laughs> And then, and, then I, I, and then I have all this to back myself up though, right? Yeah. I have like the meeting receipt. I have a, as long as I was there yeah, for. Yeah. And I'm just like, how can someone be this like two Wait, what did your manager say to you? He was like, you're fine. Like we know that you've done everything that you then, have Yeah, who do. cares? I just don't. Dude, I, like, if, that was, if that was us, I would have skewered my fucking own person. I was just like, <laughs> I just don't get You'd it. You'd be out on the street <laughs> right now, Shane, with your boss. I would have skewered my own person. Not, not skewered, but I've been like, okay, like you should have waited. Well, I, I, I get d- that. I waited 15 minutes. No, you did the right thing, and, and your I, manager's a nice person. 15 so minutes. So why do you want to quit? Why just is it? Because this like it caused me so much stress having to explain to everyone, being like, this person's. I have to tell everyone they're lying and convince them with like but, fucking factual evidence. But your manager seemed decent about it. 15 but he minutes was, and like, you're legally other people allowed to leave. Be. Who cares? Your manager is. He's the. Who there's cares only about one other, person you need to maybe, impress? That's a, maybe you were the wrong group to tell a story to. Okay. <laughs> that's a good because manager. we'll tell you how it is. No, your manager actually decent. You literally you have to impress one person. That's all you got to remember. The guy who's in charge of you. That's it. The guy who's in charge of him. Yeah. Or that's girl. It. But the thing is, I don't know who's in charge of who because this company's like disorganized to the fucking shitter. But like, so who cares if your random coworker who isn't in charge of you thinks that you fucked up? I don't know. I'm it doesn't just, matter if your boss is like, no, you're good. Big, I know what happened. I'm a big believer of like perception and how you already drank the Kool-Aid and how everyone views you in a company. It's empty now. Here's the thing it. too, is that this person, they're gone now. I think that's 12 be. fucking meetings I just, a week. Imagine how many naps you can take. I, I'd almost <laughs> like, honestly, I feel like, like he's going to miss but, up. He's no, like, no, honestly, I'm no, going to miss I feel like guys. I feel like betrayed by this client, man. Cause I did so much shit for them. Dude, and the minute you're like his son <laughs> like, and the minute like the literal like two minute difference of this guy being late for a meeting is enough for this person to set off and try and like slander me to my own company Again, that's, that's what bothers me your company I, was decent about it though. i just did so much shit for this person so, and like they fucking turn on me in an instant because they my, were like oh, my one question about all this is like you say you want to quit now yeah because you're done is, with the job this is like so a, such a mind with that client being gone the rest of your clients are okay right not really Here's but like the, here, they're not they're not as bad. Some of them are really toxic, but some of them are really nice. It's like so depends. if they're tolerable and your boss thinks you're fine, keep grinding, and you don't have to deal with the shitty ass client who's taking up hours of your week. It's just the isn't it a good? It's just I, the role as a whole. It started off as me being like a trainer on like helping people roll out new software to their real estate brokerage, blah blah blah. And now, but like I. So like at the when I, when I first started, you know when you first start, you got, you always want to be the person to volunteer to do shit, right? Yep. Yeah, oh yeah. So um, when I first started, like there was like a lot of problem clients coming in, people who were really like pissed off and just didn't want, didn't even care about fixing their account. They just wanted to yell at someone, right? Mm-hmm. Um, and then uh, on my resume and in my job interview, I was oh yeah, I've worked customer service. I'm good at de-escalating things, That's which I like fault. to think I am. It's your fault. So I was like, yeah, no problem. I'll hop on a call. And like a, the first two went really well. The first guy was like super angry. He was like, I'm going to quit. Like he was like swearing and shit. And I was like, just, hey, I was like, hey, man, it's just you and I. They tell me what's pissing you off and we'll work something out. And then he ended up staying back on and he renewed. Same that happened again. But ever since I did that, I just had this constant siphon of pissed <laughs> off customers being dropped right on my lap every single day. And it just, it just gets really old. Here's the thing. It's literally what you talked to your manager to about this. Yes. And they say, said, oh, work helps on the way. The one guy uh, got fired and the other guy quit. <laughs> that, was, that was supposed to help me. So now it's like 65, percent of my day is just like hopping on calls with people who have no intention of like continuing their Time shit. out here. Time out. Time out. Yeah. You mean like 10% of your day. 
Yeah, because the rest of it's, you know, doing, busy, busy. Doing, yeah, busy year doing just stuff. Just wanted to make sure that was clear. But like <laughs> my workload has just shifted from what like being like in a laid back, like training environment to like super hostile people every single day. Well, welcome to the okay. real world. And it just, it time just, time, it time it out just again. Ero- it just erodes my patience and my well-being. This is what builds you though. Time, time out. So I understand you don't like the job. Yes. And it's annoying as fuck. I, I get that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> However, you told me that you are 100% planning on moving out in January. I need money, so, so and you need money, equals two. and you also have to pay off all your debt to my parents. Yeah. Oh yeah, you owe the Iron Bank. So mm. you're not quitting your job. No, well, I might try and find a different one. Well, the that's PRA. fine. If you find but another you, job, you stay okay. at this job until you find a new one. Yeah, like you do I'm, not I'm quit. Actively searching. Okay. But the same you're thing. Fine. The thing is, is, promise the randoms out on the world that you won't quit until you find another job. I promise. I don't want to do more because bank updates of like six dollars. <laughs> when he we will whip out those bank updates. Oh yeah, because when he. I don't think Drew was there for it, but like when he first was talking about it, he's just like, I'm going to quit right away. Like, I don't want to work there anymore. I'll look for a job later. Well, it's just like, isn't it, isn't it so funny how like the bank account updates when Rob had nothing, he was just like, yeah, yo, I got two bucks. <laughs> now that he actually has money, he's like, oh, I don't want to say. No, uh, just, which is fair. It just yeah. feels, no, now that he has money, he's like, like it's backwards. I don't need a job anymore. He's not relatable anymore. <laughs> yeah. True. <laughs> I'm not like choosing if I want to buy Subway or gas. You know what okay, I mean? He still has $5 yeah. or just a couple of zeros now. <laughs> Anyway, couple yeah. of couples. 50. <laughs> By the sounds of it, your boss is a decent human. Well, like my you boss, just, he's like he's a nice dude, but he just doesn't do anything to like act on my complaints. Here's the you thing, know what he I mean? He's probably, have to. he's probably doing everything he can with his resources too. Well, like someone's got to like, do something. And you got to think. You're doing that something. But and they see mean, that. I will say what is likely happening is that how, how you're feeling right now is probably how your boss feels about their boss. Because if you're saying this company is as mismanaged as it is, which I'm sure is a little bit exaggerated, but let's say you're being 100% truthful. Okay. Realistically, he really can't do too much. It's a fucking and know, he's in like, that exact same situation as you and he's thinking, "Man, I want to fucking quit this job and go find s- or, somewhere else." Or like you say, he's trying to manage headcount and you're saying, "I need help." He gives you help, but they they, they fucking lives get too, fired and, and they shit quit. And so quit. what's he supposed to do? He's like, "Well, I'm not going to help. I got bigger shit to fry." I just like if that's if as part of the case, and if so, like it's just a shitty place to be. You know what I mean? It's a yeah. shitty. It's just a shitty. I don't. Situation. It'll get better though. I don't think you're ever gonna completely escape that just from moving. No, around, I just. Though. I just don't. I just don't want a job to be getting on a Zoom call every day with some dude just ready to fucking scream welcome, his head off. Welcome to COVID. I guess so, but like, fuck, bro. It's literally what my dad. He just sits in his office at home and just Zoom has calls. Bad call after bad call. Yeah. I know. It just welcome makes you feel like. COVID. Just makes you feel like ass, though, man. Hey, man, probably, I, I've been dealing with that too. I got those horny ass teenagers in my chat who are <laughs> wild up. Get them out of here. Get them out of here. But um, again, like the fact that chat. your boss, again, most places are like, here's the company guidelines, customer complaints. Okay. The customer's always right. The fact that your boss didn't skewer you is well, like, amazing. The fact that they didn't write you up. Well, I've read like, cause he knows all the shit I deal with in a day. Well, that's what I mean. That's so good. he's doing you like he, he stood by I sent you. this guy a full on like five page email being like, I've done this, 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 this for this client. And this guy's still being a fucking thorn in my <laughs> he ass. And he agreed Rob with Mac, you. Just like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't understand the complaint with the boss. Cause he, he's yeah, on no, your side. Boss, I, I'm not the mad at my boss. I'm just, it's, yeah. not, it's not anger. It's just like frustration that I'm stuck in it. You yeah. know what I mean? I live like I'm knee Grr. deep. Just take a little bit more pre-workout. Just exactly. Take, do you have vacation days? Yeah. I was yeah. going to say, do you have, Take, but I'm saving them for like some, I don't know I don't, I don't know what. Here's but I'm saving them. You sound like fucking Drew now. Drew, I took mine. Relax. No, Drew, <laughs> you have Drew all the yeah, time. Yeah, but he didn't spend them like on us. I have ten before the I end will, of the year. I will relax. How many do you have? I have ten before the end of this year. This lot. Yeah. The year's almost long, half, wait, the year's how long more do you have than to, halfway over. How long do you have to take them? Like I can use. When you have, I have ten. Have, I have to use them before the end of this year. But how much warning? Sorry. Uh, I can't even know to be honest. All I know is that I have ten before the end of 2020. Okay. Here's the thing. You take time off at Christmas to recover from your. That's what uh, I'm well, saying. Most places Alcoholic give state. time off, don't they? This place you have to work. I think until the 23rd and then 26th and then 28th till. New We're year. open That's on the really 24th. It's not bad at all. Yeah. Rob, We're open on Christmas Eve. Don't pull a Drew until yeah. three. Because yeah, the amount of times we've like told five. Drew, I'm sure he's gonna claim that this never happened. But the <laughs> amount of times that we've never told happened. Drew that we're just like, just take five days of your vacation, come on with us. us or whatever on a trip. He's like, no, I can't. I'm like, how many days do you have? He's like, oh, I have nine days. And we're like, do you have them? Do you have them lined up for anything? He's like, I have two lined up. We're like, so you have seven left. And he's like, I can't. No, he's, First like, of all, he's like, I, I can't nine take left. them. He's got nine Second left. of all, this was last year, but the problem was I was on a year contract. This was two weeks ago. This was both years. Oh. This was last year and this year. 
This was last year <laughs> when I was on a year contract with a certain amount of days. So it was easy if you have a calendar year, you can be like doing this, this, and this. But the new year rolls over, you don't know what's happening. Yeah. So Which was, was fair. Like, yeah. Now okay. you have a legit job. So now they're asking me to take five days off in November to go to Dominican during a pandemic. And they're weirded out that I said no. <laughs> no, but your excuse at what? first wasn't the pandemic. Yours Listen, was, I don't want to take the vacation day. You yes. guys want to go first, it was you hate us. You guys want to go camping up north for the long weekend, week, whatever? Let's talk. I ain't going to no, no. Dominican. Down. Down. See ya. Camping? Well, fuck that. Well, one. We, <laughs> no, we'd have to own like, uh, Christian, rent like rent a cottage an, or rent something. You'll rent an RV. Yeah. You're fine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Christian buys like a $100,000 RV. <laughs> Look at me, guys. Is, I'm is, is, Hey, Mikhail, how, how many moves this upstairs real quick? You driveway. see the thing extend? It's a fucking like jacuzzi tub or something. It has like a fiber optic cable coming out the back so I can stream. <laughs> one of those like gaming like orbs. Uh, Steps out with sunglasses, just like a disco ball going on inside. <laughs> <laughs> guys, camping's so great. <laughs> so we never left. I, I, I can't believe we never tried I, like, this. walk up with just bug bites everywhere. <laughs> I have so many on here. I'm literally I told, itching. I'm I told look Annie like a meth addict. that I would uh, want to get a cottage, but not like the shitty small cottages there in the forest. Made I want like, like the ones shit. that I sent you yeah. in Collingwood, which had 24 yeah. foot ceilings. Those aren't even cottages. Those are just like and it was if seven you're ever going to buy yeah. something like that, please get it on a lake. I yeah, don't understand. It was on the lake. The one wasn't though. Yes, it was. No, it wasn't. The seven million dollar one was on the lake. Sure, but one, one of the ones, one of the ones you linked oh, actually one, wasn't. No, that was like, was like a fucking modern f- home in the middle of a field. Yeah, it, was, it was a modern home on the side of a fucking hill. It also had like a hundred and fifty acre property. I don't think that's gonna be on a lake. And do front. your research. You can get a really nice place not on Lake Rosso for like half the price. If you have like a does it have twenty four foot ceilings? Sure. If you have a mansion on like some random lake or a mansion on Lake Rosso, this is gonna be like three times as much for the same thing. Well, first I got to pay off this house. True, we'll get there. So give me a year. A year, right. yeah. I was gonna say this fucking guy. <laughs> what do you mean? Next month, you're going. Yeah. Man. The charm comes out next week. Is that what it is? You pay it off <laughs> that way. Charm's available through year six, everyone. Oh, I loved it. Today I had uh, the intro was plugging the cooking channel, and the f- top comment was me expecting to hear, "Hey, everyone, my charm's available through year five. <laughs> it's like, but instead, Christian. Cheese. It's just like you grating the cheese as I talk about the cooking channel. Wait, actually. Yeah. I need to go watch this video. Cooking channel story time. So me and Sarah watched it for the first oh time. Oh, God. So what do you think our reaction was? Laughter. The whole fucking time. I could not stop. <laughs> Dude, I could not. I don't know. It's just, have you seen it? I haven't, actually. It's just something Here, show about. Show me a clip, a clip of it. Right I will like show, show you after. But something, I'm trying to be serious, but, but I'm never serious. something about your fucking voice, man, just killed me. So Sarah is eating like a bag of, <laughs> of, of like gummy bears, okay? She's, she just starts breaking out laughing. And then like we're, we're playing Stardew. So then we get back in the game, blah, blah, blah. And then all of a sudden she's like, my nose like hurts real bad. I'm like, <laughs> What the fuck? You just, just, just keep playing. Got me stuck up there. A day or, or like a, a day in Stardew later, and she's like, "Okay, it's actually like actually painful. I'm gonna go blow my nose." <laughs> Blows her nose, and a fucking <laughs> chunk of the gummy bear she was eating just flies out. Oh god! <laughs> like she laughed because your stupid ass voice, and it fucking sucked the gummy up her fucking nose. Honestly, I had a moment like that today because oh, to take pre workout. <laughs> yeah, you guys know pre workout looks? It's just powder, right? Yeah, yeah. I, put, yeah, I, I take a scoop, put it right in my it. mouth. Like this. Yeah, it's disgusting. That's disgusting. Yeah, it gets, Just mix it with water. It gets it's me so fucking, sour. It gets me hyped when I do that, mm. though. But anyways, yeah. I did that, and like I sneezed midway, and I saw like stuff cut my nose. <laughs> I was like, "Fuck yeah, dude!" I'm, I'm like a minotaur or some shit. Right now. <laughs> it sneezes out, snorts. Oh, minotaur. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. I tried that once. Was that a was that a Why? family family friendly story? I don't think so. No, it's not. Um, <laughs> only so once though, and didn't work at all. Cause other had a headache. Other cooking channel thing was my sister put it on for my family because <laughs> why? Because they were like, oh, like let's watch it. Like I haven't even shown my family. I know, but they were like, we want to watch it because we talked about how we launched it, and then um, immediately, like I was like watching on the TV. It has surround sound. I'm like, I fucking like Drew's voice. I just can't. I can't. Why? Every, I, I, I like Drew's something about it. But then everyone voice. in my family was like, he has the perfect voice for this. Like yeah. he's so like calm and well spoken. Like it's perfect. And I'm just sitting there like I watched like it's what? Cause it's because I laugh. I laugh for a minute straight, and then I was like, ah, this is annoying. I'm skimming. <laughs> and then, <laughs> so I think it's just because we know you so yeah, much. Yeah, it's yeah, the same thing exactly with like you guys listening to me. Like when I'll record stuff for C school, you guys are like, oh, it sounds oh, so fucking awful. Shit but the then problem. everyone in the comments is like, oh, it sounds great. You Man. know what it reminded me of, honestly? When, when like, Christian does the patch update videos. <laughs> 
<laughs> no. But it's like so like when you're <laughs> no. But when you're when you're talking normally, like you're you're having a conversation. Sure. It's your your voice is completely different there. What that sounded like was like Justin Trudeau like addressing the nation. That's the voice you were giving me. It was like our grandparents but fought you in the know war. I, mean? I really we wear masks. But yeah. I think that's the equivalent. You know when it's like it sounds yeah, like he's yeah. talking to a child. Yeah, you fair. sound like you're fucking addressing a room full of children because you are. <laughs> yeah. But, it's just all cooking mac and cheese. Yeah. You also, just have a lot of instances where you're like, okay, so like do this. Yeah. If you want, you can do this. It to just branch sounds out. like you're Trudeau. Yeah. But um, you want to play with well, your trucks? Well, go apparently, do Trudeau's it. a crook now, isn't he? With this whole charity thing. Yeah, yeah they're well, all. Cro- they're if, all you, if you have a politician fucking title, you're a crook. It's apparently. Who? You hear about this? Yeah. No. Who puts croutons in mac and cheese? Yeah. Is that what they did? Yes. On top. Gets nice little like, is it like crouton croutons? Literal like... croutons, and then he crushed them in his hands. Oh, okay, they were crushed at least. <laughs> he didn't want to get a Ziploc and like hands. crush them. Mm. That's but like, like uh, he's got clean. clammy hands, so I, you can see clean. them like sticking to his hand. And... <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. No, I've I've had <laughs> mac and cheese with like a layer on top of it. It's like creme brulee. Yeah, but it's made of mac and cheese. Bacon bits and croutons on top. You can say You're no like, well, to I'm gonna have some creme brulee. Some mac and cheese. I've just never seen croutons. I've seen breadcrumbs for the crunch. My my whole life, my mom's put croutons on top. It's a veteran move. Well, to be honest, my mac and cheese has always been like just right out of the box. Like, <laughs> always make a little watery. Well, I've like, never. <laughs> the only make it a little watery. <laughs> not on purpose. Rob's always balling happens. out. He gets the white cheddar. <laughs> the white cheddar is my favorite kind. <laughs> the only the mac and cheese I've shocked. ever had is that KD. I've had it, I think, twice. Once when I was a kid and I fucking hated it. And then in the apartment before we moved here, I tried it again because Annie is like, oh, I got KD. Like, I love this stuff. It's so good. She got the white cheddar. It. I honestly wanted to puke. <laughs> it was so fucking disgusting. This I put it in my was, mouth and I was like, "What? This feels fuck? like I'm eating melted plastic." <laughs> Keep in mind, this guy's got the finer things in life. Now. Yeah, he he actually orders the keg every this guy's like, day. Like he spits it into his hundred dollar bill <laughs> and then fucking gets his thousand dollars. He his spits face. it. Spits his Gucci shirt. I need another yeah. one of these. Fuck. Yeah. And because he, like, like, where's my own merch? What do you mean? Yeah. Like all of second year, I would have once you a day were, a were, whole box of white craft dinner with a thing of tuna dump in it and i was so content <gasps> same with me there would be like days where the, my, so my routine good, was like literally a bagel at timmy's for breakfast lunch optional kd or pasta for dinner kd is like did you put tuna in it no tuna's garbage we i, I did that all the time tuna's for the gains. Gains. look at this guy 38 this grams of tuna. protein straight tuna. In, like like <laughs> just, straight tuna the idea of taking craft dinner and putting canned tuna in it i used to cut hot dogs into it that's fine glizzies yeah, that's normal. canned <laughs> tuna like, like I tuna just doesn't even taste good on its own this block of canned tuna <laughs> slopping out with some tuna juice and then oh, Rob just like I drain it. That sound of just taking it. it and going. No wonder he said he like he likes his KD water. He's got all the tuna juice. In I drain the KD tuna or the tuna juice beforehand. <laughs> this guy doesn't <laughs> drain his KD water. <laughs> Rob drains it's all the cheese sauce. It's like soup. He mixes it with tuna oh. sauce. Plain uh, noodles and tuna. You just the boil water. You just put the package of cheese in it and oh, you just God. scoop it and eat. You know what it reminds me? Oh. You putting, putting the, tuna? the cheese in a can of tuna. Oh. <laughs> you putting in the tuna reminds me of like when you go to feed a cat and you just open the can and just like. Yeah, and that, it just flops on. That's, that's what I splat. picture. I've never fed a cat in my entire life, so I don't know how. To, I can't relate. Just imagine a can of. I can't relate. Just, just can't relate. It's a can of tuna can't just imagine, splat sorry. on a plate. I can imagine that. That's literally what that is. Cat. That's Dude, gross. I used to rub it in that I don't, never had a pet before. Now it's gonna hurt my feelings. You had Bruno, <laughs> who you paid for and didn't even keep. You got kidnapped. Yeah. Rest in peace. Does anyone know what time we started at? Uh, no. Like seven. What time is it? No, there's no way. There's no way we started. Uh, by seven, I mean eight. I think okay. it was like I think it was like eight ish. It was like eight oh five. Yeah. But um, I, I'm telling you, it was eight oh five. Um, but yeah, craft dinner is. I love it. Underrated by overrated by many, underrated yeah. by I, few. But but I I cut I cut pasta out of my like out of my right. diet. So High power. I don't get it as much. I've had it, I've had pasta once and I had pasta at the beginning of the year like five times a week. Yeah. And now I've had it once in the last two months. Dude, and it kind uh, of feels bad. But how you? I'm gonna say this wrong. Gnocchi, gnocchi, yoki. That's gr- I yoki. had it the other day, and it's like it's really okay. good. I love it. It's potato. It's yeah. like potato, like chunk pasta. I've never had it before. Well, like it's, it's okay. a dough, but it's made like with potatoes. Can you please make it Pretty so sure. we know how to make it? Sure. Thank yeah, you. Yeah. What's the next, uh, or is the secret your next? No, meal? the next one's the. We have two episodes recorded. I'm gonna edit them tomorrow. Well, this can be like the spoiler pocket. One's a sandwich. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, the one that you guys were eating the one time? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that one looked hella good. Fucking delicious. My only complaint was the bread, and that's because I'm picky. But it tastes amazing. Mm -hmm. What's wrong with my bread? I just don't like like toasted bread. I feel like I work too hard to eat it. Did you like put it on a bun? Did you bake the oil? No. And honestly, look, picture wise, you you do that. Yeah. Some ratatouille type shit. 
But if I'm gonna make it again, like in the summer at the Cotty, yeah. As Christian said, just toss it on like a Kaiser. Yeah. What we're gonna have to do in the future for episodes is like stay up to date with movies, especially anything that has anything cooking related. Fuck me. And then just uh, (laughs) yeah. Problem is, there's no movies these days. But still, in the future, you can make fried green tomatoes. Or make ganochi or whatever it is. Ganochi, yeah. Gnocchi? Gnocchi. Ganochi. That's just hella good, bro. I had it with like this really nice tomato sauce and like ground. Actually, I had a really, meat, I I had a really good gnocchi in Houston. There was like uh, ganocha. Pancetta and Houston's known for their gnocchi, aren't they? I'm was that I'm beef we had? <laughs> yeah, man. What, what was Houston's that beef we had? Uh, <laughs> Italian. Uh, what, when we were eating the, I think what it is. is it called? Oh, fuck, why am I Brisket? drawing a blank? In, um, Ribs, chicken? French wrap? Steak? In San Diego. Oh. When we were at the all you can eat place. Pusilli? There's like that meat we have. What is it called? <laughs> Penne regatta. Going to an all you can eat. The fucking Korean barbecue. How drunk were you, man? Oh, uh, bulgogi. Ah, I don't know what that is. Make huh? that. Bulgogi beef. Bolo- it, bologna beef. It's, blo- it's bologna. It's bologna. Bulgogi. It's like a part of the cow that they cut up and it's like super. Oh, that's a cow's beef. Oh, is it expensive? Is this like some Kobe shit? Do you need it's, a smoker? It's can like you buy a more. A smoker? Get a smoker? No, it's a, it's a more. Expensive part of the cow, mm-hmm. but it's not like uh, not Kobe it's, shit. It's not cows, like it's it's super expensive. Penis. Never heard of this in my life. <laughs> it has to be a rack. Has to be, has to be you Iraq just, like, you kill it. Actually, no. But is. I, I think, think it's right? a specific cut. I don't think it's a normal one, but I also think it's uh, like bulgogi is whatever they put on it. Can't be that expensive. It's it really good. Can't be that expensive. I had a, I had a bologna sandwich every day when I was growing up. I for some reason I feel like I used to enjoy bologna and then someone put macaroni in the bologna and then I hated Dude, it. Dude, I I haven't eaten it since I figured out what it was. Yeah, it's not good. It's like the remnants of everything yeah, else. It's just like hot, it's, until it's like just a hot dog. I think it's worse than a hot dog. Yeah. Just, well, like, even a hot dog. Like I like sausage because the sausage feels like more like less like, gross. Well, like a nice sausage. It's is like real just meat. Literally yeah. ground meat. But like bologna and hot dogs are just like hey, whatever's left. This guy is the definition of a sausage guy. Just not said. <laughs> From what I can see, bulgogi is just like the spices and stuff you put on. Like it's okay, a, it's that a makes a dish. lot more sense. What yeah. kind of cut is it? Beef. <laughs> I'll do some research. How do we feel about <laughs> glizzies being the new term for hot dog? Are you guys on board with Stupid, that? Stupid, no. Is that a thing? Why? Yeah. I've never heard of it. Have you seen the, the, called dogs. the people going to Dairy Queen? And asking getting, for glizzies? But then they, they give you like a blizzard? And then just like a hot dog in a, with the bun jammed into the oh, side. So it's like the blizzard, blizzard. <laughs> with the hot dog sticking out. Why? I don't know. It's great. I it's like when show. all the girls go and get like the bucket with the Corona just stuck in the top. Yeah, but it's, like it's a glizzy a inside of a blizzard. foster or whatever that, it's called. I'm actually going to puke. That's disgusting. Imagine taking a bite of that. I'd have it. I'd take a bite. No, of it's one of the it's one of volting. That's like Why one of the best combos that? where like uh, no. you go to Wendy's and no. you get a, you get a and frosty and a frosty. Yeah, that's tasty. One dollar no. frosty and fries. Yeah, it's like the same concept. I don't want my make or my uh, what do they call them? There? Blizzards. Blizzards. Yeah. I don't want my blizzard. Glizzy. with ground I bet you it's hopes. pretty good. Oh, you, you could just say hot dog. That would work too. <laughs> <laughs> He's got to make it sound more disgusting. <laughs> yeah. Wow, dude. All right, bring me one tomorrow for the Leafs game. Imagine sure. they, they cut a hole in the middle of the glizzy and turn it into a you straw. <laughs> yeah, he's like, fuck you. That sucks. Bring me one tomorrow. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to eat it just to make fun of how bad it tastes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm saying they're fucking awesome. Though. Put a hole in the glizzy yeah, and turn it into I'll, a straw. I'll, I'll second that. McFlurries. Ooh, let's go to McDicks. I don't know, dude. I've always found blizzards to be kind of overrated. In blizzards my are better than McFlurries. I found McFlurries yeah. better. I get more out of it. It's like if you get a well, it's different. if you get a McFlurries Smarties Blizzard. Thicker. So the thing is, Blizzards have upped their game. There's some fucking crazy flavors now that are so Truthfully, good. Truthfully, I haven't had Dairy Queen in like ages. Strawberry so, cheesecake. Yeah, but they've taken all those like plain flavors and they started doubling them up. Holy shit, they're good. Because yeah. now before it was just like okay, like you you have a medium Blizzard and you're like halfway through and you're sick of it. Like, Ooh, look a cookie dough again. Yeah. Finally. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's like, now it's like there's actually decent combos. Yeah. There's not enough content. Like a a blizzard or what do you call the McDonald's ones again? A McFlurry. McFlurry. I feel like a, like a Smarties McFlurry. Oh, so why are they all like named after snowstorms? I don't know because we're Canadian. Cause it's made of ice. Because like <laughs> we're Canadian. But True. like, there's more. But like, why couldn't it just be like a? There's more density in terms of like Smarties density, chunks. Motherfucker. A, yes, that and, makes sense. And in McDonald's, there's more density of shit versus. All I gotta there's, say is blizzards. It's honestly, thicker. It's different. It's different sauce. Straight up blizzards. They've upped their game. They're good. I gotta go try one. But I can only have a, have a small because of the lactose. Well, we're having blizzards tomorrow for the hockey game. See you there. I'll drop one off on the I'll, way by. I'll come by for a bit. We need oh, to finish yeah. the basement so I can just banish you all to the basement when you want to watch sports. Dude, football. Yeah, we're banishing Annie upstairs. Football. Yeah, what about football, though? Annie. Are we going to watch we football games? We haven't asked Annie yet. Are you going to watch any I, football no, this I year? No, I told her, and she's like, you can yeah, we watch told you, whatever like, Monday you want. Monday night game. 
Oh, right, right, right. I never watch football. But you have to watch. If the Vikings play on a Monday no, night after the care. podcast, we have to watch. Oh, we'd, we'd catch like the end of the Monday night game. That's it. We ha- you just you just have to watch a football no, game. No, I don't. Man. I'm going to make you. No, you're not. I'm going to boycott the podcast until okay. you watch. Okay. We're going we're gonna, to we'll get to a stalemate then. Here's okay. the thing. I'll watch anything in the love sack. Same. Don't care. Can we I'll all fit watch on it? it? Like in like a circle or a triangle, I guess. Like Whatever, a combination man. of both. They're going to sit on your shoulders. If I'm in the <laughs> love sack, <laughs> I'll watch rom-coms. I'll watch sport. I'll watch cricket. Actually, that would actually be kind of fun. But I never watch cricket. I just don't understand how it works. Neither do I. I want to yeah. learn. It's a five-day event. Yeah. Pumped. And like some people can bat for literally hours. Didn't, or you can go then, off like a day long at bat. I won't go on vacation with you guys, but I'm going to book off a week to watch uh, cricket. <laughs> He was going to smack you him in the head. You book it off too. We watch together. <laughs> <laughs> All right, true. It's something. While I'm laying in the beach in Dominican. Yeah. <laughs> He's sitting at home. <laughs> Watching like, cricket. FaceTime face here. Cricket here. <laughs> Dude, I'd be down for Dominican so much right now. Uh, Again, I'm losing hope though. That's, you guys aren't going to be able to go this unlikely, year. It's unlikely. But. But then we plan it. So if we don't go a trip this year, we just go on two next year. February and later in the year. True. Just don't go to Cuba. <laughs> Cuba was the it's good it was logic. fun but it was just like sketch as fuck Rob man. you got scammed yeah you had to, we've already determined this you got you got that was scammed. the most scuffed resort I've ever been to I went to a four star resort and it cost eight hundred dollars per person you went to a two star one <laughs> and it cost fourteen hundred that's what that's what happens when you let someone else plan it it was two point eight five actually I told them I was like we rounded up they a hundred percent stole your money two point one we rounded I, up I, I, I transferred them to five hundred and fifty. So it wasn't even, it was 1100 in the end. That's still way more than it should have been. It was yeah, but my, you don't drink as much as he does. Yeah, I got more out of Mine it. Mine was all in. <laughs> and there was free glizzies there too, so it was whatever. <laughs> it was glizzies and fries at every meal, bro. Dang, son. Jeez. But yeah, do but, you even talk to those friends anymore? Two of them out of five. A hundred percent they stole your money. The one, well, the one that I talked to is the one who would have had the, who, who would be stealing my money. And she still has Bruno too. 100% stole your money. So she you stole said she your was money crazy. and your dog? Well, she's nice. <laughs> she's crazy, you said. Yeah, when like, it comes like to certain Christian, items. She watches now, relax. She, I don't think she ever has, but just in case. You know who you are. I, think, I don't think you're crazy. It's just this guy you have to worry about. But she has my money, and who knows what <laughs> she, she has spent, my she money spent, and she my spent dog. it on. She's not crazy, though. <laughs> I've honestly thought and about... And she's in an asylum, but I've thought about like being like, hey, can I have... Because like... My parents are gone right now, so my mom's like allergies are in a, a play. I was like, "Hey, can I have Bruno for like a few days?" No. Oh, sorry, I didn't see your message. Blah, blah, blah. You, she's on her phone all the time. Oh, I didn't see your message till today. <laughs> it's too late to come get Wait, him. Sorry, you thought about this conversation, or it actually? I happened? actually asked her. I was like, <laughs> "Bruno, Bruno died last week. Uh, sorry." I, oh, I was supposed to photo. Oh, gotta go. Oh, was, burr, 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 burr. <laughs> oh, we got a new dog. Too. It recognizes you? your voice. <laughs> Rob, I hate it's to Bruna. break it to you. <laughs> yeah. You have it's ab- Bruno. <laughs> you have absolutely no stake in this dog. No, yeah, you're fucked. I know you paid for it, but that you are just an idiot for doing that. It happens. Man, there is people in first. Man, year they, they showed up with a brand new puppy. It's like, would you help pay for him? I'm like, no. Of course. <laughs> you say no. Dude, I have a picture somewhere. Oh, it's not on this phone. Would, it's my old phone. Oh, matter. I thought you were looking like, if it's gonna be framed <laughs> on there. I would have 100 percent said no. I'm sorry. Yeah, I just no, like, man, sure not. I'm just a dick. But they they like, fucking swindled me because they knew I'm gonna say yes. Like, and they're all standing around me. Like, literally, I got a puppy and like puppy dog eyes. Rob's like, at me. here's here's the Rob's Jehovah's Witnesses got Rob marked on their thing. Like, <laughs> this is the only guy we can see in this neighborhood. He pays for everything. <laughs> the, sh- the, the show up with a dog. Yeah. There is and four, a few glizzies. There was four girls in second year. <laughs> or like at the end of first year and they said they were going to get a dog in second year for their like house and i went on like a half hour long rant about how dumb they were for that and they all just hated me afterwards and they never got a dog and i know i was right so it's <laughs> like i kind of helped them even though it's they a win hate win me. win or wrong. the other option is that they just ended up never doing it and they all were still like drew's such a fucking asshole yeah. <laughs> that's fine i helped them He's not I, the hero we want, but the they, one we deserve. They did not, <laughs> he's a, he's they a vigilante. Did, they didn't put zero thought into how much money it was going to cost them. It's like 10 bucks. After you buy yeah, the no, dog. Cheaper. You just go to the park and there's just everywhere. Yeah. Just, yeah. Yeah. just go to the dog it's park. It's like Pokemon. <laughs> and then when it starts having like a weird limp, you just kind of put it back. <laughs> <laughs> or you just adopt a new one and give that one up for adoption. Yeah, you just trade it. And yeah. eat it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like, hey, I'll give you my super old dog for your brand new puppy. That's okay. <laughs> yeah. 
Oh, it's a no-brainer. It's got like 3K in uh, hospital bills. It needs to get, <laughs> but uh, drained. <laughs> That's when you take the old guy out back and... F and chat. Don't say that. Give Drew's dog is getting to that point. No, man. Bauer's killing it. He's, he's still swimming. He's fine. Yeah. I still... Like, I remember seeing him last time. <laughs> Drew goes to the cottage, throws him in. <laughs> if he doesn't swim, he's just caught. Dude, we can't get this guy out of the water. Like, he literally just... Swim. We're like, dude, you're 13. Like, you need to come lay down on the dock <laughs> you're for a bit. Die. And he's just chasing ducks in the middle of the lake. Drew, like, I remember... What are you doing? I remember seeing <laughs> Bauer at your house. And I was like, oh, he's so lively and cute. And, like, his hair was all black and full. And then when your parents came to drop something off and I saw him, yeah. it was like, he you was good? gray, <laughs> scraggly, and his hair was all patchy. I'm like, man, Drew doesn't want to think about this stuff. like he was like three years later. Three years later. Drew doesn't want to think about this. He's a pretty cute old boy. Mm-hmm. I miss mean, making me sad thinking about it. I'm like vicariously sad for Drew right now. I can't wait. Die. No, man, I'm he's calling, lived a great life. I'm calling it right now. Mm-hmm. The day Bruno dies, Rob is missing the next podcast. I'll be sad, probably. Like, man, that dog <laughs> and I had some good times together, man. Yeah, you give him Speak- one pat. Speaking of mentally unavailable, Uh-oh. I want to talk Uh-oh. about what happened on Rob's stream the other day. Oh. What the? F- where's this going? Oh, you <laughs> asshole. <bro>. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. I'm not Who's even sure so, right now. Are you going to tell your Shane? side of the story? And then I'll no, tell, I'll here, I'll tell all of mine. I'm well, pretty I, sure. I get it. I get it. No, no, no. I'm excited. I'm excited. Let me tell my story. I'll speak on behalf of you also on this one. No, no, no. Um, so Shane's heard most of it. I think okay, Drew <laughs> Drew has barely heard anything of this, right? Okay, I'm I gave a, I'm, the guy the benefit okay, that I'm going to bite my time and let him tell his story, then I'll tell my side after. I'm not going to say a thing until he's done. Okay, and we'll pass judgment. Yep. Okay. Hey, usually, but, you're, no, talking, you're usually on the other end of this. Just enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> so for context, Where the popcorn at? Rob, yeah. Rob is playing Siege. Mm-hmm. Five stack. It's him. Having a really good game, by the way. It's him. Doggo. Bling and two other like copper players. No, Cozy and Nick. Shout Whatever, out Cozy and bronze, Nick. Bronze, silver players Goals. from his uh, chat. They're good guys, trust me. So, I've heard you whining about them before, but continue. Never, never. That's a lie. <laughs> so they're playing, and Rob's four and zero. And so I message Doggo and say, Doggo, team kill Rob, and I'll gift you a sub. And he immediately messaged back saying, when? No, I I'm not. This was about when Rob missed last week. Like, no, no, no. This is his stream. Oh, okay. Like, On well, Tuesday. It's every day. Anyways, so I, I messaged Doggo that and he responds saying, uh, like, no, I'm not doing that. So I was like, fine, whatever. So I go into Rob's chat and I say, Rob, team kill Doggo and I'll gift the sub. <laughs> and he says, no, but he muted himself when he said it. And then the round starts, everyone spawns in and Rob says, like, this is exactly how he said. It. He's like, so, uh, Doggo, um, Christian. And it was like, just very slowly saying <laughs> stuff. And so Doggo's immediate reaction was. Rob's gonna fucking kill me. He took the deal because I've done this before. He knew that I was gonna you, do you it. You just immediately C four and all. And then so then Doggo downs Rob and then runs away, and then someone picks up Rob, and then Doggo still had reverse friendly fire, and then he C fours Rob from below. <laughs> team kills him and then gets kicked for team killing, and then Rob's just fucking livid. He's just like, I'm kicking Doggo out of the Discord. Like fuck this shit. Like I'm what? so pissed off. Why? Like disconnected him from the voice chat was just ranting nonstop about how much he hated Doggo and like how <laughs> and Christian and, and then he's just like dude they ruined my day like my vibes are completely out of whack <laughs> he's just like I, he's like I can't even play this game anymore vibe check he's like my vibes are ruined literally what he said and then <laughs> so they were up to zero I'll, I'll tell my side after they were up to zero and then in that round it became from a five v five to a three v five because of the team kills and the kick they bring it down to a three v one. Okay. One person jumps out, looks around, can't find the person, tries to jump back in the window, dies, calls out where they are. 2v1. One other person jumps out, <laughs> looks where they are, doesn't shoot a single bullet, <laughs> dies. Last person jumps out, looks where they are, shoots, shoots like 10 feet above their head, misses every shot, dies. They lose the round. Rob says, this is all Doggo's fault. <laughs> it is. And I'm saying they're like... How is this part Doggo's fault? <laughs> they threw a 3v1 because they were running out and they couldn't aim because they're all silver slash bronze players. Yeah, Rob's a plat now. Really. And Almost. then, so the match goes on. They're down two to three and then they win around, take it to overtime. And then they actually managed to win the match. I and the off. entire time, he got like three kills after the first two rounds. I went nine, I went nine and three. But anyways, so then MVP? the entire round, he just, Almost. or the entire yeah. match, 
Well, this other guy, this <laughs> he this was other like guy five was, kills short. This of other MVP. guy was twelve and two. Was, uh, um, but anyways, so the entire match, he's just like, "Fuck Doggo!" Like Doggo's the worst person. Doggo's DMing me the entire time, being like, "Dude, I feel awful." He, like, I was also saying, "Fuck Christian" too the whole time. But <laughs> yeah, but I don't care about that. <laughs> yeah, and then I'm, I'm telling Doggo, I'm like, "Rob's on his period. Like he's just being emotional. He'll be fine after a bit. Like just." Don't worry about it. And he's like, no, but like Rob really seems pissed off, nah. and I'm just sitting there laughing. Like, my ass. <laughs> this is the best thing ever. I'm fucking the enjoying best it. Five dollars I've ever spent. Exactly. That's exactly Rob, what I said. Rob's and Rob, saving already. I could see. Like, I would type stuff in chat, making fun of Rob, and I he'd look over at the screen, and then just stare back at the monitor <laughs> and, like, and not Christian. say anything. I was just like, I knew that I was getting to. Him. <laughs> I was having the time of my life. But then at the end, um, or before the end, Doggo gifted Rob a sub. And immediately he changed his tune from like he was saying right before that he's like fuck doggo after that, he's like hey doggo like it's okay man like i don't mind i was like and i messaged Doggo i'm like you just got scammed he just scammed you out of five bucks <laughs> yeah. that's not what happened yes, right. it is. is it right. my turn okay. now version yes. one version two you have to be as quiet as rob was i will okay so <laughs> <laughs> so sorry we don't care the round starts and like chris, i see chris put this message in so I'm not I'm not looking at Doggo. I'm not anywhere near him on the map <laughs> at the time. I'm like, hey, Doggo. What I was gonna say is, Christian offered me a gifted sub to kill you. But I was gonna say, I'm too, I'm Doggo. I'm such a good friend. I'm not gonna kill you. That's what I was gonna say to him. I didn't get a chance because he downed me right away and then <laughs> ran off. And then hey, I just, no, I just want to throw in like just so you can acknowledge, you did say it slowly though, right? Okay, I did say it slowly. Yeah. So that's I, why I was I, like, because I didn't want to be like, blah, 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 and freak him out. <laughs> I was like, Doggo, like you know. I, um, I was I was gonna say doggo, you know, Christian just asked me to do this, blah blah blah. So maybe it's not sus, but I wasn't looking at him with my gun. I wasn't doing anything towards him that would have made him think I was gonna kill him. <laughs> Literally, I'm like sitting in the middle of the train. I think I'm not trying to kill him, and then bang, I get downed. And then okay, for context, I was I was learning how to play vigil. I was four and I was a vigil. I was having I was on a heater. I was killing everybody, and I would, like this was like the game that would have gotten me to. Gold one, I think, too. But it did. Yeah, that we did in the end. But I didn't think it was. Go- I didn't think it was going to. After that, mm-hmm. actually, remind me of another funny thing. I, I didn't think. It, I didn't think it was going to, because I straight up thought like this is like we're fucked. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I mean, Doggo kills me, and yeah, I was really pissed off for like twenty minutes because like, I was like we were having a good game. You know, we we're gonna win. I think it was the rounds were like it was like two one or something. And your intention you're was two, two zero when he two him. zero. But I was like. How often do I have a really good game in Siege? You know what I mean? Where I'm bloody frying right, people. Right. Not often. Yeah. Exactly. So I'm like pretty gassed, pretty pretty stoked about it. And then all of a sudden, I'm just getting TK'd by Dog. Oh, this is so funny, bro. And then like he's like he runs downstairs after he downs me. I thought he was gonna like lay off. No, I hear a C4. Beep, 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 beep. He kills me. So I, yeah, I snapped. I was like, Doggo, you're a fucker. So was Christian. Can, can and then I, the, can I stop you right there? Fine. Okay. This is all my fault. How? Because whenever I play with Christian and Doggo, I just kill Doggo for fun. So now it just it just so, it just rubs so off. So he on just him. expects everyone to kill him. A hundred percent. I've told Drew like I'll give you five bucks if you team kill just Doggo. Kill I'll do Doggo. I don't need the money. I'll just find it. just tell me for when. Doggo. Yeah. But yeah. Anyway, so I, that's because yeah, we don't care. I, yeah. I completely. I flipped my gourd and went crazy. I'll admit Drew, it. But I was what? my gourd in my head. I was I was angry, you know. There's, that's an end story. I was angry. I, yeah, I, did, I DC'd Doggo from the Discord, and I was like, fuck Doggo, fuck Christian, blah, blah, blah. The one thing I got to side with Rob on is the whole um, sub thing. Mm-hmm. I feel like it wasn't about the money, but it was about, like, he actually realized that Doggo felt bad and didn't mean anything. Yeah, by like, it. when Doggo, like, made the effort, there's it's like, a, it's $2. I don't really care about that. There's a monetary transaction involved, but I think it's more of, it, like, That's the, when I realized that I was like, hey, hey Doggo genuinely feels bad. And he would have done it, that with a DM. And like, no, he messaged yeah. me too. He was yeah. like, I genuinely feel bad, man. And I was like, don't worry, bro. I'll get over it. Like, I'm just, I just got pissed off. That's Here's all there the is thing. to it. You were, you were four and oh, <laughs> like two rounds in. Still, yeah. bro. How that, often does that happen? It's not that impressive. You, to you me, won, it is. You won the game anyway. Uh, here's the thing. Rob, Rob went If I had a time machine and saw we won, yeah, fuck it. Who cares? <laughs> <laughs> I, I could imagine Rob has one use for a time machine. I want to find out if we win this yeah. game. But Rob, then, Rob went from Blackbeard creeping around hallway, which he still did. That's on okay. offense. To, to going off his vigil. You know, yeah. we got to give him those. I was feeling myself and confident, you know, and then this happened. Okay. So one thing I want to throw. I'm not at, done. Oh, okay. I thought you were done. <laughs> um, so then, yeah, I'm we're mid game. I'm like seething mad. And like dog was messaging me. He's like, dude, I feel terrible. And that's when I start my, my rational side of my brain started to take over. I'm like, you know, I'm, I'm being kind of a dick about this, blah, blah, blah. So Doggo and I were fine. 
And then uh, we end up winning the game, but we're trying to win the game. Every t- and I'm trying to focus on when every time I look over at the chat, Christian's like, oh, you're a fucking... <laughs> he's, so, he's so mad. He's so mad, bro. And I'm just like, fuck. But yeah. <laughs> to be fair, you would do the same to me. Well, yeah. <laughs> but like, yeah. We all do that to and each other. to be yeah. fair, people running out one by one dying is not but doggo. The, thing, the reason I said it's his fault is like we wouldn't have been in that exact situation if the round had gone differently. You're right. Like, you you might wouldn't have been, have been in the spot if you didn't play exactly. with fucking copper players. Yeah. I play with people who are they playing with. I'll defend them. I, nice you can't even say shit because you do the same thing. <laughs> I play with good people. Yeah, but then you play with me and Rob. And... Sh- I play once a month. Yeah, but you guys aren't annoying. <laughs> well, uh, like I don't find anyone I play like I wouldn't play with them if I didn't like playing with them. There's no, like I don't get pressured to play with people that I don't want to. Shane, this is time for you to throw in your coveted uh, babysitter line. Yeah, you, you, you're babysitting. Well, like, <laughs> like two of them are my age, and I don't even know how old the other guys are. But they're they're cool one of them guys. is 15. Bling. Yeah. I like I I don't mind Bling. I genuinely like him now. He's like, he's he's funny. He's entertaining. <laughs> Also, the one thing I want to throw in that I forgot. So, while Rob was super heated, he got so pissed that he told super me, he's just like, fuck you, Christian. This is like my platinum game. I'm one match <laughs> off platinum. And I was like, and Rob. Like, Dude, and I messaged in there. I was just like, games. Rob, you are not one game off platinum. I was like, you are gold two. <laughs> I was like, there's 400 ELO between you and platinum. <laughs> and I was like, you are not gaining 100 ELO per match. And there's no way you're getting 400 from this match. She's like, He's like, shut the fuck up. You don't know what you're talking about. He's like, I'm gold one. I'm one match off oh platinum. He finishes the match. It's just like gold two. He's still at the bottom of gold two. And he's like, oh, fuck I it. guess I wasn't. <laughs> Either way. Your stream time was literally like going plat or something. Like I thought I was not gold one that entire day, but I wasn't. Apparently. <laughs> Jesus. And that's why I was like, I was like, Rob, you are not like. Because that's, when I, lo- you're that's fine. when I lost that random elo for some unknown reason to me. Happened twice. It makes zero sense. You just gotta, you just gotta do unranked. Become an unranked player. I want to hit plat, man. I just want to do it once for the term. Can he hit plat? By himself, no. With I need, me and Doggo, yes. But I, playing with the kids he's playing with, no. I was, I'd bet a, my friend Adi could probably take me there and a few other people. The one thing uh, that also happened in all that was so Bling was in the match mm-hmm. and oh, okay. he, like, he messaged, scared. he messaged in the chat he kept messaging while the round was going on <laughs> so i'm like first off rob doesn't care about him messaging and like being distracted and then dying because he's messaging that's what, that's what and, rob then, does. and then second off in like the sixth round or something he's like guys sorry like i just can't focus after what happened like <laughs> this is this was too much for me like i can't handle it and i'm like i, I don't know if he was he trolling fu- or no anything. he was serious he's like he was just like he, like doggo team killed like I, I just, I'm not on my game anymore. Dude, that Wait, guy's got his nose shoved else. so far up your ass. And I, that's when I you guys, are so, mean, that you guys are so mean to Bling, though. I don't because get it. Because he's okay, just like, here's the thing. He's a nice kid. But I, he's, 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 he's like, sucking he's your dick like, left, right, and center. Yeah, just, he's got his head right up in your ass. Like, hey. Uh, well, you guys, you guys call it that. I just call it. He's just, I don't know. He's a supportive no, member of what I'm trying loyal. to do. That's called brown nosing. If, you're, if you had a kid in your class... Who you're like fuck this teacher man he's awful and the kid was like no this teacher is the best goddamn thing to have ever happened to me i would die for this man would you be like oh, well, oh not, i understand you're supportive the that's Rob, the same thing, the thing. i'm not i'm not saying it's a bad thing. i'm not thing. gonna sit here and trash bling if you guys are trying to get me to do that i don't know i'm thing. not saying it's a bad thing here's here's the thing that's different than Shane's thing where it was here's the thing take this as what? a compliment <laughs> okay yeah when christian was on the come up we roasted the shit out of him to oh keep him my humble. God. Well, where do you think the babysit line came from? We just sit and chat. We're just keeping you humble, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> I, d- I don't just... need. I n- I'm not. I don't need to be kept Dude, humble. Your head's fucking huge right That's now. That's what he said. Yeah. Like, <laughs> how would I need now. to be kept humble? Like what? I don't. Guys, I, don't... I can't hang out. My stream needs me. What's what? What's wrong with that? <laughs> There's nothing wrong with it. You're on that hustle. You on that grind. Oh, you guys right. want me to skip streaming like every second day? Oh, three third. years. <laughs> every third day at least. <laughs> Two, three years ago, if Christian said that line to us, we would roast the ever living shit at it. Dude, there. I would join Christian's chat every single day and literally say, "Hey guys, here for my shift to babysit you idiots." <laughs> like, but at the time, everyone in your chat was like fucking twelve, fifteen. Now they've grown Just up like with us. Yeah. Rob's chat is like you're, now you're migrating to that right point. Now. It's a process. I think yours is significantly better than when you started though because we mm-hmm. had to purge all the shit people out there's not as many shit people in rob's yet he's yeah. not at that point yet this guy had like 100 viewers the other day yeah i know but they're all decent to chat with yeah, i think i sat in your most, chat yeah. for like an hour just chilling this, the other everyone night. Likes, shit never happens they talk about watching this, <laughs> no, I know. what i like about it is that everyone wants to ask like 
like yo what like, what kind of workout should i do or what should well, i eat they're chatting like not siege i think that's why i like yeah. seeing in your chat mm-hmm. Jonathan, i don't have to always answer like who's your favorite operator and shit it's like hey, i fucking I who do you that think your, I, you finally killed off all those people <laughs> <laughs> there was a time where it's like everything was who's your favorite operator who do you think who's best on defense what do you who's think best best on dude, now i just piss off chat today i was talking about how like football is boring and like yeah. not a good sport and you people just, just fucking go off people always come in they're like you clearly don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Like football is like you know probably what? the most mentally draining thing you could possibly do. I'm like, you know, it's what fat the, guys running at fat guys and you know grabbing the, each other. The best thing is, is without even specifying, all you gotta say is like, you know, like football. Just say that line and then not specify whether you mean like soccer or football, and you just get everyone <laughs> in your chat pissed because half of them are like European. He's talking about he's talking about soccer. And Problem is they're like, both yeah. bad. Yeah. What's that? They're both bad. Yeah. They're both shit. Your opinion. In your opinion, yeah. yeah. In your opinion, yeah. In your opinion, who gets to call? Who? But here's the thing: I don't come to Christian for sports opinions. Yeah. I come to come to him for I don't know if I have problems with my PC. <laughs> if I want to learn how to play a video game. If my if my storage bar is red and I don't know exactly. why. Exactly. <laughs> if my computer doesn't turn on. I don't come to him to did, ask or, him how the Leafs are doing. <laughs> like, <laughs> or if my computer keeps turning off, I get him to plug in my CPU fan. But that's why I like it when you're roasting people about football. Like, I think it just makes it better. Mm-hmm. The fact that like you have no stake in it, you hate it. You're just torching some guy because he genuinely <laughs> loves it. <laughs> it's like it's like that's it's, like, it's almost like people come to hate watch. You know what I mean? They're just like he's gonna come. He's gonna like, come in and he's just gonna roast my favorite thing today. <laughs> yeah. They're like, watch, watch. He's gonna piss me off. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, get over here. Who uh, wants to get triggered today? Fuck yeah. But Truth. okay, yeah. Bling's a nice guy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. He's a nice. His his heart's in the right place. Correct. He gets his nose in the right place. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Dude, dude, he just he just takes he he takes a lot of flack some days, so I feel bad for him. That's why he found his home, and it's your your chat. Yeah, your, that's great. I'm glad theme. he found it. Yeah, it, that get like it gets demoralizing. Comes to oh, for sure. Getting cyber bullied like 24 seven. Just okay. look away from the screen. Close yeah. your just eyes. Just close your computer. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> That was my favorite tweet I've ever seen. <laughs> Dude, how can cyberbullying exist? Just, just turn, look away from the computer. <laughs> but <laughs> even, even I guess Doggo like I will say he rolls with it now. But there yeah. was a point where yeah. Doggo wasn't so good with that stuff. But I think he's better. Uh, we've helped. You got to grow character. Yeah. And at the end of the day, nothing I say is false. <laughs> yes. I'm telling the truth. Yeah. You have our own personal oracle over here, man. <laughs> he's telling his truth. Yeah. Our own, our the own truth. Our own human eight ball. <laughs> Ask him any question, he'll answer it truthfully and honestly. Ask me a question. I don't like asking. Why is the sky blue? Questions. Yes. Oh. There it is, man. Damn. Outlook looks good. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's a good segue, actually. Chat. To or the chess. end of the stream or to the into, podcast because it's podcast. been an hour and forty minutes. Com- comment or I was gonna say since you're our new sh- like our shaman, chat should ask or chat comment should ask you a question. <laughs> And I'm just stroke answer. listening to that. Yeah. I What's feel the question? like all of them are just going to be, will your charm be available? To <laughs> I got to say, that's a good marketing thing you did. Cause like, I see that it everywhere. wasn't a marketing thing. It was completely yeah, unintended I, yeah. and it just happened. It's just everybody. Yeah, sure, every, man. every single person that's like, I'll get DMs from random people. Hey man. I'm like, hey, <laughs> do you know that varsity is trying to be able to, I'm like, dude, what the fuck, man? If that wasn't marketing, uh, then Rob didn't scam Doggo. Someone did that in true Pangu's comments on one of his videos. They're like, Hey guys, charms. And he's like, wait, Wrong channel. Yeah. And they had, they had like 400 <laughs> likes. <laughs> um, but do we have a question for the comments this week? Not really. Mm. No. <laughs> who, was, who was, I guess you can't really take sides in our thing. Well, it's just we like. We both acknowledge what happened on yeah. both ends. Well, just I for fun. I was a troll and just you got for, Just for heated. fun. What's, what's in, in terms of like severity, was like, okay, I'm trying to think of how to phrase this. There was the, tro- Did Rob, the troll oh, job. Yeah. Does was Rob the, need anger management? Was the troll job severe enough for me to what is there a clip of i think that oh yeah that i happened? put it in the group chat and then jex was clipping everything and dog was clipping everything too. <laughs> I there's see, an archive i haven't Wait, seen that yet I, I put one of them yeah, it was the oh, first one and then watch. it was like in the middle of the match it was the round right after and then rob put into group chat right after saying fuck you and just <laughs> yeah. left it at that <laughs> um but i guess yeah good question did rob overreact he did did i over okay <laughs> <laughs> Well, like, <laughs> phrasing it that way. your opinion? I need yes or no. True. Answer very carefully. We're all in the same building after this is done. I plead the fifth. Even no, 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 yes, no, or no. no. Yes, or no. yes or no. Yes or no. I, I might, my right? It's not. It's no, not. that's US. You don't have rights. <laughs> you don't have rights. I plead the Canadian Fifth Amendment. Oh, no. my God. Just, just answer yes, yes or, or no. no. We're all in the same building, Drew. Yes. 
Thank you. Christian? I'm going to pronounce That's it yes, good. by Thank the way. You. In case anyone heard. But I, yes. I well. think no, because I was on a heater. <laughs> I, I was on a heater as vigil, bro. I was 4 0. Here, I, can see, still not I can see how it could piss you, you off. You know what? This just circles back to I, it must have been early momentum in sports. This was a momentous. Your momentum was ruined. Yeah, it's like His I was. Vibes were I was on. I was on. I was near. I was in the red zone. Yeah. For end of the second half. And momentum then, and done. Then someone forced you were, a fumble. You were Kadri flying at Marchand with the cross check exactly. after the arm was up. And then I took him took off his head. All right, so that's it's it for podcast today. <laughs> Thank you guys. <laughs> Wait, what was watching? the question? I missed. Oh, it did Rob yeah. react? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Everyone's gonna say yeah because Rob, Rob's a fucking. I thought I answered that already. Rob's an idiot, Roy head man. Of course he did. Oh yeah. I was, just, I was like, Drew, Rob's, is, Rob's roid raging. Drew, we didn't even roast you once this podcast. Let's go. Gang, gang. All right, that's well, it for I'm podcast this week. We laughed at the whole video. <laughs> True. Come on. Fuck it. All right. Sh- Shane might not be here next week. We'll f- sort that out. Should be. It's the week but after. Week after, he might not be here. What, what's up? We'll sort that out. We we'll just sort said it out. That. Yeah. But, yeah. Okay. All right, bye. Bye. <laughs>